you know, I'm starting, you guys. I'm starting. Start new career. Y'all didn't tell me I was picking up a second job. Technically a third job, okay? Streaming's pretty much my second job at this point. So I guess we're getting a third job now. This game is almost 20 years old. Now that is old. That is very old. It's giving me Dead Space vibes. <laughs> this game is old enough to drink. Choose me. <laughs> Can't be too picky with the menus. That is fair enough. Yeah. Where did the time go? Super old game. It's very old. Or right, I'm starting a new career. God, that gives me so much even more anxiety. Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Classified information requested. Top secret. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. Profile reconstruction. Due to your covert N7 status, ID records are incomplete. Please confirm identity from the records below or register manually. John Shepard, Jane Shepard, enter new ID. Uh, manually enter career info and physical stats into the Normandy crew base. Um, is this, I don't even know. Should I go with the pre-made character or should I go with enter new ID? Fourth job, you forgot cult leader. <laughs> it's pretty much stream, right? Time to spend first hour in character creator. Putting up options and extras is a bonkers choice. You were totally correct. It was such a bad choice. I remember it from when I played it. It's just like, why would you? It's such an important uh, option. Like, why would you nest it in a separate one? That's just confusing to me. You're already an astronaut, so this doesn't count as another job. <laughs> Too many jobs. Hi, Disease. How are you doing? Yes, we are getting ready to start. Custom character, pre built character. New ID? Either new ID if you want to customize, or enter new ID if you want to customize. You can change class. We gotta make choose shepherd. Oh. Choose the bra. Fashion soul, such an important extra. You meant to say it is an important extra. I wouldn't even call it an extra. It's like crucial. Go for choose. Okay, choose shepherd. Uh, custom or quick start? I feel like maybe quick start because I feel like custom might be overwhelming. I don't know. Weaver chooses to tell us to drink the Kool-Aid. Uh, do not drink the Kool-Aid. <laughs> Hi, Sugar Cube. Hi, Legacy. Good to see you guys. Hi, Dan. Good to see you too. Poll time? I'm playing your favorite game franchise. Hope you enjoy it all. That's so exciting to hear, Dan. I'm, I've already fought a few bosses, okay? One of them being tech support. Second being um, character creation. We have faced our second boss right now. I, which one should I do, you guys think? Quick start or custom? Quick start is bad? Quick start said go right into the game, which reads weird. Oh, I see. Okay, I'll do custom. Instructions unclear. I'd finish all the <laughs> Just soldier, i.e. gun bro. Okay, custom, Mighty Mar says. No, hello, you wanted some? You wanted some Kool-Aid? I mean, you can drink the Kool-Aid, but I would advise against it. We're not drinking the Kool-Aid. <laughs> Please log in to access your profile. Shoots. I should name myself Fig. This is Fig's journey to space. <laughs> I make the Kool-Aid we drink, got it? No! Custom, you can choose backstory and class quick start. You just jump into the game. So how is quick start even different than just making or picking the pre-made character? It's like the same thing, right? Using reverse psychology on us to get us a drink right now. Hi, Ollie. How are you doing? You love these games? Can I just make a suggestion voice-wise? Female Shepherd better than male Shepherd? I was going to go with female. Yeah, I was going to go with female. Actually, they drink Flavorade. You can't undrink the Kool-Aid. Fig's journey. Fig is going to space. Fig has the zoomies right now. He heard that he's going to space. Now he's very excited. Sounds like a baller indie game. <laughs> Is that your cheeseburger? Is that cheeseburger? <laughs> He's like, God, I'm going to space. I gotta bring my burger. <laughs> it's just crashing around. Are you okay? <laughs> okay. 
Okay. He's trying to lay down now. Oh my, the burger. <laughs> Send our boy to space. <laughs> the jumps. He's having a good time. <laughs> Crazy. Delay between running gets you every time. He's time to bring this back. I know he's like, I gotta get my things. All right, we'll, we'll stick with choose. If I do fig, I'd have to make a male uh, shepherd. All right. Um, accept. Is that supposed to be my skeleton? Why does it look Warning. so empty? Data corruption detected. What? Please reconstruct profile. Confirm pre-service oh. history. Pre-service history. Spacer, colonist, and earthborn. Oh boy. You wish you could run that fast, me too. Me too. If he were not so like easily distracted, I would totally enter him in agility contests because he has the speed. But there's no way that he doesn't get distracted by every little thing. <laughs> Go completely off course. You wish you could have that much energy? Me too. Choose Fig Bird. Choo Bird. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Incredible. How are you doing? Fig Choo Bird. This sounds good as food. Item peanut butter bacon burger. A peanut butter bacon shake. Oh no, I don't know about that. Hi, Edward. Hello, hello. I hope I do too. Yes, we're just getting started. All right, let's read through these. <clears throat> Spacer, both of your parents were in the Alliance military. Your childhood was spent on ships and stations as they transferred from posting to posting, never staying in one location for more than a few years. Following in your parents' footsteps, you enlisted at the age of 18. Okay. Colonists, you were born and raised on Mindwar. Oh no, how do we say that? Mindwar? Mindwar? A small border colony in the Attican Traverse. When you were 16, slavers raided... Mindor? Mindor? <laughs> Slaughtering your family and friends? You were saved by a passing alliance patrol and you enlisted with the military a few years later. Earthborn. Uh, you think they come up in conversations later? Hmm? Anyone know if these choices actually even mattered at all? I was told they do. Some flavor dialogue. Oh, oh, oh. The, this specific choice. I don't know. They come up in conversation. This is reminding me of like um, life paths in cyberpunk, right? This is what it sounds like. It might influence some of the dialogue later, but not any huge impact. <clears throat> There's some encounters that change in dialogue. Okay, but not too much. Second pronunciation, Mindor? Mindor? I don't know where the accent is either. I'm really bad at pronouncing things. Colonists and Earthborn sound too traumatic. Spacer is very like, standard like you know nothing crazy is happening right you were an orphan raised on the streets of the great megatropolises covering earth you escaped the life of petty crime and underworld gangs by enlisting with the alliance military when you turn 18. <clears throat> uh so are, are the first two like Space origin and Earthborn is, well, I'm guessing Earth because it says Earthborn, but the other two are space origin. Uh, I'm thinking either spacer or colonist. First choice just affects small lore bits. Okay. Trauma builds character. <laughs> this kind of matters. It's very D&D light and we'll have some dialogue choices. Okay. Okay. Mindy, your Mindy or Mindor. You're like giving me different pronunciations. Mindor. Mindy or Mi No, but there's no I between the D and the O. It's like Mindor. Mindor. I gotta hear how they pronounce it. <clears throat> Every D&D &D player picking their character background. Orphaned by a traumatic effect. Oh no, see, now I don't want to pick that one. <laughs> okay, that wasn't, my, that wasn't my option anyway. I was going to go between Spacer and Colonist. Spacer kind of sounds boring. Colonist is like, okay, there's actually something cool that happened. But it's so sad. Actually, both, both of the bottom two are orphans, I guess, because my family was killed as a colonist. I'm right? Okay. Base origin. Yeah, like not not of Earth. Don't pick Mindorp. 
I got it right. We can't even, I can pronounce it. You all can't. Your Minesweeper character isn't this deep. Minesweeper door. Actually, it's Mindoir. <laughs> Colin is apparently gets slaughtered slightly traumatic, but space are so boring, right? It's like literally nothing happened. Your parents were in the Alliance military. Your childhood was spent on ships and stations. And then you turn 18 and you're also now in the Alliance military. <laughs> I'm just kidding, it's fine, it's fine. But Colonist has a little more flavor to it, you know? Are we Batman? <laughs> uh, orphans, yeah. I wanna be an orphan, that's, it, it makes sense. This is why I need an alien bestie, cause all my family and friends were killed. So I feel like this plays into my objective of becoming besties with an alien, right? Th th this one, probably killing the aliens. This one, alien bestie, mm-hmm. Nothing happens equals parents alive. Yes. Making good time on the character creation fight. We're studying the moves right now. Military space brat. Exactly, exactly. More flavor, right? How do I reduce static electricity? <laughs> I think water. Oh, I also heard, um, what is it called? Dryer sheets help too. Hi, Ayutor, how are you doing? You're at a friend's place watching. Love has won, oh my God. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you watched that with other people. What did you think of it? Alien bestie. I want to be an orphan. Choose 2024. <laughs> oh my god. Earthborn makes you think of cyberpunk. Um, yes, yes. Like um street. What was the not not nomad and not corpo, but the other one? That one? Uh Mr. Incredible with a VIP gamble. Okay, let's see if we can do this. Going with 500. Good luck. 637! So close, but unlucky. I'm so sorry. Tromico's flavor according to choose. Yeah, it is though, right? <laughs> Guys, I'm going colonist, okay? I don't care what you say. I'm going with Mindoir. Mindoir and alien besties. This is what I'm going with. Confirm psychological. Oh my profile. god, there's more. Psychological profile. God, there's more. <laughs> Street kid, that one. Yep, that's right. Street kid, that's it. Lessons. One, even if Robin Williams is one of the Galactics, I don't trust his advice. Two, don't drink silver. It's a good one. Yep. Three, if you're going to be a cult leader, make sure the finances are in your name. Oh my god. A hundred percent. Tree hugger with the points flags. Let's go. It's about a cult, right? Yes. Yes. Is it like this stream? No, this is not a cult. Choice one complete. <laughs> I'm a colonist, guys. An orphan who's trying to look for an alien besties because my family and friends are dead. Next choice. Okay. Soul survivor. During your service, a mission you were on went horribly wrong. Trapped in an extreme survival situation, you had to overcome physical torments and psychological stresses that would have broken most people. You survived while all those around you fell, and now you alone are left to tell the tale. Whoa. Listen, there's no way I would be the sole survivor. There's absolutely no way. All right, war hero. Early in your military career, you found yourself facing an overwhelming enemy force. You risked your own life to save your fellow soldiers and defeated the enemy. Di Literally, none of these are me. <laughs> it's not me at all. <laughs> you risked your own life to save your fellow soldiers and defeat the enemy despite the impossible odds. Your bravery and heroism have earned you medals and recognition from the Alliance fleet. Oh my God. <laughs> You're traumatized after watching the documentary. It looks like Father God is annoying. Which one? There's like five of them. Colonist Run got to find someone to oppress. <laughs> PTSD effects. Soul True Viver. Thoughts on bidets. I don't think I understand how a bidet works. I don't have one. I don't think I've ever used one either. I don't think I understand how they work. But in my head, the way that they work just feels weird. But I have friends who swear by them. So, you know, one of these days I'll probably try one out. Probably 200 hours in Baldi's is, it was me. There was a lot of reading and a lot of choices to make. Yep. Ruthless choose. Oh, ruthless. Throughout your military career, you have held fast to one basic rule. Get the job done. You've been called cold, calculating, and brutal. Your reputation for ruthless efficiencies makes your fellow soldiers wary of you. But when failure is not an option, the military always goes to you first. Honestly, this one resonates with me the most. <laughs> I'm not soul survivor, not war hero, but you know, I, d I do know ruthlessness. 
ruthlessness confirmed. Ruthlessly befriending aliens. This one's definitely me. The days are amazing. They're great. Yeah, people swear by them. Please do not explain how the days work. There's just a stream of water that washes your butt. But then what? How do you get the water off? You need a towel, right? But like, do you trust that the bidet did a good enough job of getting everything off that's not gonna end up on your towel? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't know. Definitely beat Liza P. Mm -hmm. Is this the original description, by the way? I swear they went into detail on what these mean on the originals. They do have details, right? You mean more details? Sounds like me. Either a PTSD soldier, Rambo, or a war criminal. <clears throat> yep. <laughs> uh, sounds like me. Honestly, this one sounds the most like me than the others. I don't... Like, how am I going to take down all these enemies and be a hero? I don't think that's me. Soul survival, somehow in a, an extreme survival situation, I overcame physical torments and psychological stresses. But maybe... Maybe, but honestly, I think I'm more ruthless. <laughs> War hero will probably be the last one. Ruthless, like 10% chance of being sole survivor and then like not war hero at all. Power wash for the booty. Okay, see, that sounds painful. That sounds kind of painful. Closest to your cult leader persona. Oh my God. Ruthless choose. Yep. <laughs> is this like the previous decision where it only influences dialogue slightly or is this more important? Squirt of water won't do. It's got to be a thorough scrub or nothing. Yeah, and I don't think the bidet scrubs you, right? That, that's why I'm like, I don't know. I don't know what all it does. But people, people swear by it. So I'm like, somehow it works. Dark souls. <laughs> bidet peeps, is there soap? I don't think there's soap. Are you washing with your left or right hand? You have to use your hand? I can't. <laughs> I can't think about this right now. <laughs> the universe isn't in danger or anything. That's you for real, for real. Slightly more important. Oh... I think I want to go ruthless still. With that in mind, I think I want to go ruthless. Only dialogue really small flavor stuff. Dialogue flavor, okay. We need to make a bidet that scrubs as well. I don't know if I want a machine scrubbing my butt. It can affect a very specific mission in the third game depending on what you pick, okay. It describes how the bidet, I'm going ruthless. <laughs> Confirm military specialization. Okay, now, I feel like I'm taking a test that's gonna determine the rest of my life. Military specialization, soldier. Soldiers are combat specialists ideal for the front lines of a firefight. Soldiers have improved health, can specialize in the use of all weapons, start with the ability to wear medium armor, and can train in the use of heavy armor. Wow, this is giving me uh, Baldi's vibes. Second game, depending on your choices, okay. You can use your hand. First spray the booty, second finish with TP as you- Oh, so you're still using toilet paper, I see. Thought you didn't scrub with bidet. This is important, this is class. Adept Ruthless. Just make sure when you use the bidet, it's not the same hand as your Jensen's hand. Gosh darn it. Choose soldier stand up. This one affects your gameplay style a lot. Okay, I figured it would. About gameplay. We made progress, but I picked Ruthless. I picked Colonist and Ruthless so far. When do the three shells come into play? <laughs> Engineer, whoa, look at the different weapons. Y'all can see that, right? <clears throat> this one's like a blaster gun. This one's a like a pistol and I can't tell what the glowing orange thing is. Engineers are tech specialists. Using the holographic Omni tool, that must be what that is. They can decrypt security systems, repair or modify technical equipment, disrupt enemy weapons or shields and heal their squad. Engineers can only wear light armor and they specialize in pit. This is like, um, this is like the hacker in cyberpunk right um i forget if it's intelligence or cool but this is not how i played cyberpunk okay i was not a hacker man i was a shoot everybody and <laughs> that was my solution uh always thank you so much for the follow i appreciate it hi classy how are you doing good to see you hello, hello. um we're doing mass effect playthrough yeah we're just getting started picking our classes and everything they use communal butt sponges in the public toilets in Rome. Did they really? I would die. I would actually die and shrivel up. That's disgusting. You the first two shells is for clamping the poo. What? <laughs> no, no, no more bidet dog. Okay. Uh, pistols and this tool used for hacking basically. And repairs, technical stuff. Okay. Adept, whoa, wait. Look at this. I want this. This is what I want. Adepts are biotic specialists. 
Through upgradable implants, they can use biotic powers to lift or throw objects. <gasps> it's like, um, what is the thing in dead space? Kine kinesis? Is that what it is? Uh, lift or throw objects, shield the squad, and disable or destroy enemies. Adepts can only wear light armor. They special. So it's kind of like the engineer, but like with slightly different powers, right? This is like hacking. This is sort of like um, defense, maybe? But similar, similar build otherwise. Every class has access to every weapon in this remake. Hacker choose biotic space magic. It looks like space magic, yeah. Physics, space magic? Magic class, very fun. Magic choose? I like never do a magic build. Hi, Timber Ghost! How are you doing, people? Arrive, hello, hello. Are we wizards? I, yeah, that would be cool, right? Magic? You gotta consider the alternative in Roman times. Pooing in a field and using leaf? Okay, wait, are we talking about like ancient Rome or are we talking about like present day Rome? Is the thing. I thought we were talking about present day Rome. It's not just defenses, they can be very offensive with magic. I see the lift and throw objects. Okay, here's the other thing. You know how in like Jedi Survivor and Jedi Fallen Order, there was also that like push and pull that sounds like this, but I like never really used that either. So I don't know. Adept is very OP in the first game. What if they ever use scented leaves like peppermint, though those are small leaves. Oh wait, that's a good point. Okay, so everything that I pick here, like it carries over into two and three, or can I redo my build in each game? Does that make sense? Does that question make sense? They use scented leaves. Both ancient and present Rome? Sponge on a stick? No. You give anything for chat to stop talking about pooping in ancient Rome? It's not like push and pull, it's more like psychic blasts and stuff. Oh. Thought the sponge talk was about- Yes, that's what I thought! <laughs> I'm trying to- I'm trying to pick a class, I'm trying to pick my life career, and y'all are talking about sponge- sponges and poops. You can redo. You can redo in each game. Okay. You can change at the beginning. Okay. Perfect. Really not giving Italians a bit of time. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Infiltrator. Wait, this looks like engineer. Infiltrator. Hi, Winter. How are you doing? Good to see you. Hello. Happy Sunday. Combine combat and tech abilities to specialize in killing or disabling enemies at long range. Infiltrators are trained to use Omni tools focusing on decryption and offensive abilities rather than healing. They can specialize in pistols or sniper rifles and wear medium armor. I do like pistols and sniper rifles. This one sounds interesting. Okay. Sentinel. Ooh. Sentinels combine biotic and tech abilities. Typically, they use biotic abilities and advanced healing skills to defend allies, though they can also disrupt opponents with biotic or tech attacks. They are more efficient at tech and biotics than other classes, but at the expense of combat. Sentinels can only wear light armor and receive no specialized weapon training. I don't think I want to be a sentinel. I don't think so. I want to shoot people, and I think you can't shoot people as a sentinel. Uh, Vanguard. Vanguards are biotic warriors. They combine biotics and weapons to take down opponents and are especially deadly at short range. They specialize in pistols and shotguns and wear medium armor. Okay, I will say Vanguard sounds the coolest to me right now. Hi, Pounds. How are you doing? Good to see you. Sometimes you use a sponge when you poop. Infiltrator sniper rivals through all three games. Great for you. Sentinel best on first playthrough? <gasps> the Sentinel sounded the least fun to me. You don't have toilet paper, but plenty of soap and water. Would you ever just get in there with your hand? No. <laughs> I guess uh, in a shower, it's different though. <laughs> Their hand has a built-in cup holder. I don't even know where the chat's going at this point. Pick the murder class, choose. Yes. Which class has invisibility? Vanguard is fun in ME2. Vanguard sounds really cool because the biotics I think are going to be really cool, but I also want a gun. You know, I also want to be able to shoot people, and I also want to have, like, secondary magic. I think that would be cool. <clears throat> uh, soldier squad rise up. Soldiers, like, just plain old shoot people, right? I don't know. That sounds like... I think I want something else besides just that. This one's heavy on the hacking, it seems like. And I don't think I want that either. Adept is all magic? Yeah, this person's not even holding a gun either. Infiltrator sounds cool. I think I'm debating between Infiltrator and Vanguard. I don't want to do Sentinel. Infiltrator and Vanguard. Infiltrator's more long range, I think, and then Vanguard's more short range. 
I'm guessing Vanguard's a bit more offensive, Infiltrator's a bit more uh, sneaky. Yeah, that's the best way I can describe it, sneaky. <laughs> I can use any weapon, it's just a matter if the class have a talent tree for that weapon. Hmm. Huh. Sentinel Engineer have lockpick skills. But like, how important are lockpick skills, right? Because I feel like I didn't have lockpick skills in Cyberpunk and it was fine. They're all totally viable. Vanguard is closest to melee class. I do like melee. Quote 183 is the vibe. What is quote 183? Isn't shooting like the only thing you do in this game? Well, apparently there's magic chum. Infiltrate is so much fun in ME2 and 3. I've never played Vanguard. Think you'll like either Infiltrate or Vanguard. Yeah, Lumin. Those are the two I'm deciding between. Vanguard extremely offensive. Did y'all watch my Cyberpunk playthrough? <laughs> Did y'all see Cyberpunk? Infiltrator sniper rifles are so sick though. I do think sniper rifles are cool, but I also feel like they're not viable in a lot of games. So I don't know if, if it's gonna work. It's like blam, echo, blam, echo. Infiltrator is like a rogue class. I don't know if I'm good with the rogue class though. Sounds stealth, yeah, sneaky, right? Hi, Spear, how are you doing? Good to see you. Non-lethal sounds like non-fun, exactly. Yep, yep, 183 knows. <laughs> use magic to shoot people? No, I think you use magic to like, I don't know, cast spells on people, but you also have a gun for shooting people. We want big bada boom. They are very viable in these games and not that long range. Vanguard is what you played, Classy. I think I'm leaning towards Vanguard, but I feel like you guys don't want me to pick Vanguard. You just woke up! Nice, nice! We're, d we're picking our uh, starting class for Mass Effect. Before every game nerfs that weapon, it was used as sniper mid-range for one-shot kills. Folks out here telling she was all about builds like we're not about to just evolve into a dex build at the first chance. <laughs> you never played this and if Vanguard is your, first, is your phase class, sounds like choose. Pick Vanguard, it's cool too. Sniping is just the best. I mean, I can pick Vanguard and still end up with a sniper rifle, right? It says I specialize in pistols and shotguns, which are like my favorite kinds of guns. But I feel like I could still use a sniper rifle with this build, right? I want you to pick Vanguard, I will just say. Okay, pick Vanguard, <laughs> okay. Never seen anything from these games. Me neither, Spear, yes. So, so far, this is our third decision. I know it's taken a long time. We are colonist. Ruthless, and now potentially also Vanguard. Need your team to have the lockpick skills, so need to pick. Yeah, I figured, see, this is what I want to do. I want to be the person who's like shooting everyone, and then I want other people, presumably my alien bestie, like healing me and d doing the defense and the hacking, you know, like that. Hi, Vane, welcome in. How are you doing? Hello, happy Sunday. Lockpicks would need to pick comp around them if you don't have yourself. In your face class, sorry, in your face class, yes. Still snipe with Vanguard? Okay, I think I think I'm gonna go Vanguard. Biotic warriors, they combine biotics. I feel like soldier is the most melee, right? And then Vanguard is like a mix of melee and magic. Yeah, I'm going with Vanguard. Never played this game, so you're gonna be happy no matter what? Okay, okay. <laughs> Why am I so nervous? It's the most melee? More than soldier? This this is heavy can train to use heavy armor? You're telling me this is not the most melee? Improved health, this sounds like the tank. I mean, it probably will be handy to have technical abilities. I don't know though, it's so hard to say because like cyberpunk, like so much of the game was Oh, it'd be really nice to be able to hack things here. But you also could just shoot everybody and it's fine, you know? <laughs> Soldiers all guns. Yeah, very shooty shooty, right? Gets magic defense. Soldier only heavy armor class. Vanguard is the melee class. Hi, Salad. Soldiers the pew pew class. The struggle is already real. Why does Vanguard say shotguns then if it's melee? Yeah, specializes in pistols and shotguns, right? I mean, I guess that's like melee in a sense. Not as apparent in the first game, but the second game really ramps up the aggression in combat. 
Got squad mates too. He went over thinking too much. Okay, okay, okay. Good idea. Vanguard. Confirm psychological Oops. profile. Confirm My bad. military. Confirm facial identity. Oh boy. The fun part. Verify this is your facial appearance. Wow! Select a feature and press A to customize. Move right stick to make your character look around. Okay. Uh, let's look at the presets. Everyone's got short hair. Oh, it's cute hair. Ooh. Okay. Uh, let's start with this one. Facial structure. Oh my god, stop looking around. Stop it. Stop looking! <laughs> moving your head like I can tell that there's slight differences in all these but I can't tell what the differences are oh can we not be alien colored that's kind of scary Okay, let's go with that one. We'll just stick with that one. Okay, head, neck thickness, <laughs> boy. Sure hair and they don't care. The final boss of character creation, yep. This is where I thought we would spend the most time, but it was hard picking, picking all the other stuff too. The short hair makes sense, wait, why? Don't get stuck in the character, it's too late, we're in it. Alt thick neck. Let's go with the neck. Okay, face size. It's really more like chin size. Cheek width. I can't tell anything that's changing. Okay, I feel like I'm not seeing any changes. <laughs> Whatsoever. Uh-huh, uh-huh, okay. You're, you can't even see my ears! Eyes. Some of these eyes look upside down. <laughs> I'm just gonna say. Some of them look upside down. <laughs> we'll go with that one. Eye height. Oh, maybe because they were so high up. Why were they so high up? Yeah, eyes need to go down. All the way down. Maybe a little bit up. Okay, eye width. Can you stop moving your head? Oh my god. <laughs> Please. Eye depth. That looks fine. Brow depth. I don't know. None of these look like they're really changing to me. Iris color. Oh, purple eyes. Okay, these are all like pretty standard. We'll go with that one. Jaw. More girth than <laughs> she looks in that. Sure, because she's in the military. Oh, I guess that makes sense. Mass Effect character creation doesn't have as much. So it's going to be 10 minutes tops. We're going pretty quickly, right? I feel like we're going kind of quickly. Depth. Width. Okay. Mouth. Sure. 
She won't stop moving her head. I think that was our starting one. I think that's fine. Okay. Good enough for me. Nose shape. Okay, we'll just go with that one. Height. Woo. What is depth? Oh. Okay. Hair. We got to the hair finally. This model is moving like you during an eye exam. <laughs> she won't keep her head still. She whip her hair back and forth. She just keeps moving her head. All right, hair color. Wow, do you want black or do you want black black? Oh, we can give ourselves gray hair too. Ooh. <gasps> Purple hair, wait, that's kind of cool. We'll go with a black hair, okay. Ah, hairstyles. Oh, this one's cute. They're all gonna be short, aren't they? Oh, ponytail's kinda cool. What is this one? Yeah, they're all short. Ponytail's kind of cool, or... This one's cute. 100% laser focus. You don't like the purple hair? The purple hair is so cool! Black, blackity black, ideally. Do you want black or darker than the... <laughs> it was so dark. Bolt, there wasn't a bowl cut option, I don't think. Do you want black hair or goth girlfriend black hair? <laughs> Dude, dad, hello friend, you're just in time, hello, hello. All right, brows. We gotta work on these brows. Okay, these are not looking so good. Let's start from the beginning. Oh, no brows. <laughs> the brows are just not looking good, man. The brows are just not looking very good. We're gonna go with this option. Oh my god, the brows are just not looking so good. I think the color is fine. Makeup? You can barely see the blush. Lip color? Ooh, I like that one. Okay, the one right before the <laughs> bright pink. <laughs> this one's not bad too. Purple lipstick. No oh, blue. Ooh, look at the blue. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Go no brows or we riot. No, there's no bowl cut, you guys. We looked through all the hairstyles. I'm not going no brow. No good threaders and outer space. No way. Brows will slow us down. She's a space commander, super soldier. I'm none of those. I'm a ruthless colonist vanguard. Mm -hmm. And I have time to pluck my eyebrows? I definitely do. Music keeps reminding you of Blade Runner. <laughs> no brows keeps away the space lights. You guys, do we have to have the brows. These lip colors are really cool. Oh, the black. Oh, the black lip. Do we dare? 
Um, goth space soldier. Uh huh. Uh huh. The black lip is so cool. Blue because we be macking on our, <laughs> our lady. No. I'm a space commander. Yes, please. God the shepherd. We dare. Dare away. Yes. <laughs> How do you train a lipstick? Like, are you reapplying it mid combat? Yes. We have the lipstick with us at all times. Mm hmm. Hi, Sylv. How are you doing? Black lips will look great with no brows. Gosh darn it. Black, very cool, right? I like the black. It's either the black or. This one. Okay, fine. I won't go black. Gosh darn it. Eyeshadow color. We need some eyeshadow. These all look the same to me. Stop, move, stop moving your head. Oh, it's green eyeshadow. Ooh, the green. Oh, it's very green. Blue. I think this one. This one's fine. Okay. Oh, scars. Hmm. As a black lip wearer, I support your endeavors. <laughs> black lips is giving sweeper of mines. I'm Commander Shepard, but I guess I can be your goth girlfriend. <laughs> Top Gun taught me anything is that there's always time to waste uselessly in the middle of combat. Yup. All right. Do we need a scar? I think we do, right? We do. We came from. The oh. Yes. We came from a. Dra traumatic upbringing. We need the scars. This one's cool. That one's like maybe too too bold though. This one's good. I like this one. Okay. Oh, final lot. We did it. Select the feature. Press aid. Custom. Okay. I think we did it. I think we're at the end of this. Oh, guys, record time. We're speed running. You know, eyeshadow to obscure the fact that your eyelashes aren't connected to your eyes. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. It's a cool scar, right? We need a shadow heart scar. <laughs> she just stuck her face in a blender. No! Look, we look cool. Okay, final. Profile reconstruction complete. We did it! Second boss down. All right, I'm accepting. I am a I'm choose shepherd, colonist, ruthless, vanguard. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We ready to speed run go? Hi, Malice. How are you doing? Good to see you. We did it. You're unable to go through any character creation without a scar in the face, right? Same here. I always try to talk myself out of it, but I always end up with it. Character created under one hour. Blasphemy. Hi, Free G. How are you doing? Good to see you. You just be baldies again, Repulse. Jeez. Alien romance. No, alien bestie. Here we come. You will be unable to change any settings. I'm ready. I am ready. Confirmed. Identification confirmed. Okay, we're going normal difficulty. Uh, should I leave this off? It's default off. Adjust whether points are automatically or manually assigned each time a character advances. I guess we want to leave this off. Level scaling legendary mode? In classic mode, the original 1 to 60 level range will be used instead of the new 1 to 30 level range. XP and talent points progression remains the same, but the number of levels is doubled. Huh? Squad power usage defensive? Def non defensive or all? Hmm? Should I just leave all these as default? I think I'm going to. <clears throat> leave it off. Um, hi, human. Hello, hello, friend. Hope you're having a good weekend. Is clothes are too tight for action. Give us sweats and no sleeves. Human games are looking like this. Let's go. Where's the bionic arm? I don't know, but I have a magic arm. Problem with scars, they kill your father and uh, take over your kingdoms. <laughs> Does it really matter much? Go legendary? Stick with legendary mode? Okay. Okay. Squad power usage can be changed in game. That's what your. What tells your AI what to do? Okay. Legendary edition. Yeah, it is legendary edition after all. Auto for this. More dings. More dopamine, though. I'm sure it's fine. Okay. It's starting. Get your popcorn ready. Well, what about Shepard? 
She grew up in the colonies. She knows how tough life can be out there. Her parents were killed when slavers attacked Mindwar. Mindwar? She got most of her unit killed on Torfin. She gets the job done, no matter what the cost. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. It's me! In the year 2148, explorers on Mars discovered the remains of an ancient space-faring civilization. In the decades that followed, these mysterious artifacts revealed startling new technologies enabling travel to the fur furthest stars. The basis for this incredible technology was a force that controlled the very fabric of space and time. They called it the greatest discovery in human history. What? Oh, Mass Effect. How fast are they expecting me to read? <laughs> <laughs> I think that was Jupiter. The Arcturus Prime relays in range, initiating transmission sequence. Commander. We are connected. Calculating transit mass and destination. The relay is hot, acquiring approach vector. All stations secure for transit. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. The Alien Bessie? Be I hate that guy. <laughs> Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. Oh, it's starting. I agree, you're overreacting. Cut the chatter. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, you have to use the stick here. Move left stick to highlight reply in the conversation. We'll press A to select it. Okay, I don't like this Joker guy already. You know, the music's really good. Business people don't read Jews. Why'd you bump into the dude for no reason? Because <laughs> I'm ruthless. <laughs> Seth Green is in this. People look way too normal. Your brain is all warm inside. He's gonna lose it. Ruthless choose. You're overreact. I'm saying you're overreacting. You always expect the worst. Well, bad feelings are an occupational hazard. But we don't go anywhere unless there's a good reason, so what are we doing here? Joker, status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the calm room for a debriefing. Wait, Get that's that, me! Commander. Is he upset? I heard you made him mad! <laughs> oh, God. Uh, good fella, John. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Welcome in. Renegade Choose. Mm hmm, mm hmm. It's going to hit that sweet nostalgia of me and uh, replay it, but watching is good too. We're ruthless. <laughs> I'm gonna say I heard. We're not trying to start drama here. I'm on my way. Is it me or does the captain always sound a little pissed off? Only when he's talking to you, Joker. Uh, access the mission computer and view journal and codex entries. Oh man. 
Personal history summary. Background profile for Commander Shepard. Okay, so this is like all the background that we just went through. <clears throat> but there's like a little bit more information. You are raised on Mindoir on the fringes of the Attic and Traverse where you were 16. The colony was raided by slavers. The entire settlement was raised and your friends and family were slaughtered. A passing alliance patrol rescued you, but all you loved was destroyed. You enlisted with the alliance military joining the long and bloody campaign to rid the Skylian Verge of Batarian slavers and other criminal elements. The final battle came when alliance forces laid siege to Torfan. A slaver base built miles below the surface of a desolate moon. The superiority of the human fleet was wasted in the assault of the underground bunker, but you led a corpse of elite ground troops into the heart of the enemy base. Nearly three quarters of your own squad perished in the vicious close quarters fighting, a cost you were willing to pay to make sure not a single slaver made it out of Torfan alive. Dude, this UI is already so confusing. Wow, future! The future! Wait, current date? 2183! We are way in the future. Okay, I'm not gonna read through all that. Wait, it said primary and secondary. Roughly 1,200 years ago, the Turians were invited to join the Citadel Council to fulfill the role of galactic peacekeepers. The Turians have the largest fleet in Citadel space, and they make up the single largest portion of the Council's military forces. As their territory and influence has spread, the Turians have come to rely on the Salarians for military intelligence and the Asari for diplomacy. Despite a somewhat colonial attitude towards the rest of the galaxy, the ruling hierarchy understands they would lose more than they would gain if the other two races were ever removed. Turians come from an autocratic society that values discipline and possesses a strong sense of personal and collective honor. There is lingering animosity between Turians and humans over the first contact war of 2157, which is There's going to be a lot of text isn't there. <laughs> incident to the Turians. Officially, however, the two species are allies and they enjoy civil if cool diplomatic relations. I mean, they're giving us background on the aliens, which is nice. The Systems Alliance is an independent supranational government representing <laughs> the interests of humanity as a whole. The Alliance is responsible for the governance and defense of all extrasolar colonies and stations. The Alliance grew out of the various national space programs as a matter of practicality. Sol's planets had been explored and exploited through piecemeal national efforts. The expense of colonizing entire new solar systems could not be met by any one country. With humans knowing that alien contact was inevitable, there was enough political will to jointly fund an international effort. Still, the Alliance was often disregarded by those on Earth until the first contact war. While the national governments dithered and bickered over who should lead the effort to liberate Shanxi, the Alliance fleet struck decisively. Post-war public approval gave the Alliance the credibility Hi, Battle Angel, how are you doing? Redo, I saw your, um, VIP Gamble. All right, I might turn VIP Gambles off for this playthrough and just have them on while we're chatting at the beginning so I don't have to, like, um, constantly exit the game. But maybe just for this game. But I'll do yours, Redo. Going with one. Good luck. 246. So close. So close, but unlucky. A lot of lore in this game. I figured there would be. Yeah, info for days, right? Travis scored? Oh, and he gave her a heart. That's so cute. Looked up at her and did the heart thing with his fingies. That's adorable. I'm gonna cry. I'm going deep in the lore. Okay, those of you who played this, did you all read all of this in your codex or no? Do you think I should read all of this? I feel like you're watching a training video for work. <laughs> yeah, some, some of these they read out to you and some of them you read on your own, right? You're actually enjoying hearing about all this stuff. He charged into the end zone head first, fearless. <laughs> I love it. Deep in Enturians, yeah, a lot of lore. You read it all, Harmless? Since you redeemed your VPN, will you think that'll be a great idea? <laughs> you believe anyone read all of this? I don't know, I mean, there was, I feel like there's this much text in Cyberpunk as well, right? But it sounded like a lot of people read through all that. When it's gonna be full, oh my God, you read it, Mighty Mar. Chat can't read, 
<laughs> don't have to, okay. You didn't read it, but you're enjoying listening to the audio. Yeah, the audio ones I don't mind listening to. I think the primary ones, they will read out to you, and the secondary ones is like, if you want to, you can read it as well. You read some of it, but not, not all of it. You did, but you know, in the stream, you're obsessed with the lore too. The lore behind the races is nice to have. Yeah, at least like the alliance and the races, I think makes sense, right? Okay, pure email fatigue. A lot of lore comes from dialogue, so you got most from that. Okay, good to know. You don't have to read it to enjoy the game? Okay, okay. I think if I am if I have to read all of this, I'm going to struggle with it. <laughs> Got to listen to the primary ones, yeah. Reading is for nerds, okay. So we listen to both of those. Let's look at the journal. Oops, journal. Wait, what? You are Lieutenant Commander Shepard, Executive Officer on the SSV Normandy. Go speak to Captain Anderson in the comm room. Okay, so this is like your quest log. Oops, assignments? No assignments. Oh, I have a squad. Squad screen lets you view your team's talents. Use the D-pad to select a talent or its rank. Press A to spend all talent point or a talent point to gain a rank in the selected talent. As you gain levels, you acquire talent points and unlock higher ranks. Hmm. Okay. Warp. Interesting. Okay, we'll look through these in more detail as we start leveling up. Toggle helmet? I don't think I have a helmet. Read the codex. Yeah, Lord. <laughs> okay, and then the map. Why is this so hard to navigate? Uh, Normandy command deck. Okay, it tells you where you need to go. Or is that where I am? That might be where I am. Plot, squad member destination store. Wow, there's a quite a big legend. Okay, so there's me. Wait, oh, he is still here. You probably don't want to keep the captain waiting, Commander. Okay, I was just trying to be friends. Okay, there's a mini map and you guys can see it. I guess this is the guy we need to talk to. Relax, Presley. You're gonna give yourself an ulcer. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? I heard you arguing. He wants to see me. I'm gonna. I'm stirring the pot. <laughs> In Furtured, the series is actually massive. I heard you arguing. Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander. Just having a chat with Adams down at Engineering. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. What do you mean? I'll look into it. Goodbye, just do your job. You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. Oh, I can investigate? Investigate the captain, stealth systems, Turi inspector. Do you have a problem with the captain? No, man. But I can't figure out what he's doing here. Captain Anderson is one of the most decorated special forces officers in the service. If he melted down all his medals, he could make a life-size <laughs> statue of himself. You don't send a soldier like that on a do-nothing mission. He's treating this shakedown right. It's already so shady, you guys. It's already shady. I don't trust this. <clears throat> oh, Timber goals, you won. Let's go. I miss the heist too, Kels, I know. Fair and balanced. <laughs> you don't trust Nihilus. I don't like Turians in general. It runs in my family. My grandfather you alien the first hater? War, lost a lot of friends when the Turians hit us. That was long ago. Was 30 years ago. You can't blame Nihilus for that. No, I guess not. But it still makes me nervous to have a Spectre on board. Especially a Turian. 
We're an alliance vessel, human military, but Nihilus doesn't answer to the captain like the rest of us. Spectres operate outside the normal chain of command, and they don't come along just to observe shakedown runs. <laughs> Nihilus looks like he's expecting some heavy action. I don't like it. I'll look into it. Goodbye. I want to say just do your job because I'm ruthless. No, no, no. I'll look into it. <laughs> I'll see if I can get some. I'm not doing a good job you. of being ruthless. Good luck, Commander. All right, I need to dialogue volume a little bit louder. Okay, let's go find the uh, the captain. Who are you, Doctor? Not rigged. You're too busy playing Minesweeper. <laughs> Be ruthless, Juice. I can't. I'll get there. Okay, I can't start out being super ruthless, right? Already backing off. No, I gotta. I gotta build up to that point. <laughs> Dr. Chocolates? What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. Relax, Jenkins. The doctor's right. Part of the job, Doc. <laughs> Part of the job. Marines are meant to fight. You just fix us up and we're done. I know how things work, Commander. <gasps> I've seen my share of combat, but it's foolish to go looking for trouble. You could both take a lesson from the captain. He's not afraid of combat, but he knows the value of restraint, too. Sorry, Doc, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a specter on board. You'll do fine. Investigate It's just another mission. Do your job, follow my orders, and there won't be any problems. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself on Torfin. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. Be careful. There's no rush. Don't play the hero. Dude. <laughs> He's... That, I already know. This guy's going to get us in trouble. I already know. Chaotic neutral run. That's <laughs> what they all say. So much fun seeing all these characters again. It's like meeting up with old friends. You got so excited when it's Dr. Chalk was standing. Hey, when do we get to shoot people? Hopefully soon, right? You're also unable to go ruthless. Anything? Just give me the sucker option. Take it. I mean... I'll, I'll be mean to the people who are mean, but it's hard for me to be mean to people who are nice to me, you know? <laughs> What's with their eyes? <laughs> uh, Big Bass, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Welcome in. They look dead inside. Yeah, the eyes the eyes could use some work for sure, I think. Jenkins, best character. This is really fun in this game. I'm going to say there's... Okay, I'm going to say... There's no rush. You're young, Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something stupid. Don't do something up. stupid, dude. Don't worry, ma'am. I'm not going to screw this up. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye. I gotta go. I gotta go talk to the captain. Oh, Renegade plus two. I get stuff just for talking to people. Did you see them salute me? No, he's just nodding. But they saluted me. Oh, this is Nihilus. Wait, where's the captain? Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. Where is the captain? The captain said he'd meet me here. He's on his way. I'm interested in this world we're going to, Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. Beyond beautiful, I wouldn't know. So what? <laughs> Hi, Big Bass. How are you doing? Welcome in. Hope you're having a good weekend. Promising young soldier, Leroy Jenkins. He is going to pull Leroy on us. I know it. Of course, they saluted you, Commander. Well, um, beyond beautiful, I wouldn't know. So what? No, I'm being nice to him. They say it's a paradise. Yes, a paradise. Serene, tranquil, safe. Eden Prime has become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Why are you asking? What's your point? Is that a threat? No, I'm gonna be besties with this guy, okay? Um, why are you asking? Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? Captain? I think it's about time we told the commander what's really <gasps> going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. I knew it! <laughs> what's going on? That's obvious. We're, we're going to say it's obvious, okay? Because we're the commander and everyone already knows something's going down, so it's not news to us. I already figured that out. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. 
What are we picking up? Why the secrecy? You should have told me. He should have told me! What are we picking up? What's the payload, Captain? A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. Prothean? I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is big, Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. Wow! But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Why did we tell the Council? I'm glad you're here to help. You sound worried. We don't need your help! No, I'm gonna say I'm glad you're here. I'm befriending the aliens, okay? I'm gonna say we need... Or right, I'm glad you're here to help. <laughs> Can I command to my list of occupations now, I guess? Is this not synonymous with astronaut? Do I really need another career? <laughs> um... Keith, David, the Arbiter. Who's Keith? Who are these people? I'm glad you're here to help. It never hurts to have a few extra hands on board. The beacon's <laughs> not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Uh oh. Nihilus wants to see you in action. <gasps> He's what? here to evaluate you. I should have known why. Like heck he is. Why? What's going on, Captain? The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. I was impressed when I studied the reports from Torfin. A grim business, but you got the job done. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. You put my name forward? You support this, Captain? What's the next step? What if I refuse? I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this, Shepard. We're counting on you. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Oh, man. Okay, I guess we're ready to go. Oh, gosh. I am going to become besties with the alien. Renegade and Paragon are mean and good. Alignment for your character. Pick the nicer good options and you'll become more Paragon. Pick the bad or mean options and you will be more Renegade. It's not good versus evil, but it's more like Boy Scout versus Ruthless. You'll unlock more dialogue choices or special actions. I think the more aligned in one direction you are. Okay. Voice actor for Captain Anderson. He also played the Arbiter in Halo. Oh, that's why I don't know. I don't know anything about Halo. Vector choose. <laughs> They're, the aliens are adopting me as one of them, basically. Go points and charmer intimidate for more dialogue options. I don't know if I want more dialogue options. She gets a uh, she better get a raise. This is just more responsibilities. <laughs> no more pay. We don't want it. Do we get to shoot now? I think almost. I think it's murder time almost. Yeah. Well, I'm just supposed to go get a beacon, right? I mean, what could go wrong? It's gonna be easy peasy. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. Oh no. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Put it on the big screen. Oh no. <laughs> Murder time. Get down. We are under attack, taking heavy casualties. I repeat, heavy casualties. We can't get evac. They came out of nowhere. We need. Uh oh. What in the world? Everything cuts out after that. No comm traffic at all. Just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold of 38.5. Any hand? Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other oh, alliance ships in the area. <laughs> you followed Take us into this game. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. 
It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Elenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. We're bringing Leroy Jenkins with us? Engaging <laughs> stealth systems. They're Somebody was fine. Doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's Dang. your top priority. Approaching drop point one. He said leave the besties. Silas, you're coming Get with us? Get the beacon. I move faster on my own. What? Dude, you're totally not being a team Nilus player. Nilus has got out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. He can count on us. Can we trust him? Understood, Captain. I gotta ask, can we trust him? <laughs> the balls, hopefully no balls. I don't like putting my life in the hands of a Turian, sir. Nihilus is on our side. He wants you in the spectrums, and he wants that beacon. Okay. We've got his back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. He said F the Good survivors. Luck. He did. Oh, well, this place is pretty. We are approaching drop point two. <laughs> Bacon numb. They just watched their people die. So relaxed. He didn't even care. Ship perimeter secure, Commander. Okay, besties. This is giving me now. It's giving me armored core vibes. You know. This place got hit hard, Commander. Hostiles everywhere. Keep your guard up. Use right trigger. Wait. To draw or holster your weapon. Okay. So this is... what? Okay, let's just shoot something. Increases your accuracy, right? Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> That's why we got it. We got spy. Tyle is so cool. My alien bestie, get back here. <laughs> can't trust the aliens. I mean, I, I want to be the aliens bestie. I don't know how quickly we can trust the aliens, though, you know. Hi, Hanny. How are you doing? Game of science fiction. Armored core. I mean, the whole, like, starting a mission and having besties with you, right? You know what I mean? Um, Ali looks different from base. I would hope it looks a little bit better, right? Better get the zimmies. <laughs> Songbirds and the zimmies. I was trying to run, but I... Oh, maybe this one? No, that's crouch. What is this one? Oh, that's run. Oh, that's weird. I kind of want to switch that. Uh, hold on. How come it's all keyboard mouse controls? I was hoping to see controller controls here. Okay, it's fine. We'll just get used to it. Where are my besties? Bestie, what? Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, it's fine. Uh-huh. This place is really pretty. The graphics actually look really good. What happened here? Well, I'm gonna switch weapons for your squad. Whoa! You control everyone's weapons? Okay. We'll stick with our current weapons, why not? <clears throat> Leave up to the colonist's name. <laughs> we hear colonists dying. That wait, it's fine. No, it's fine. I'm trying to figure out the controls here. We already killed some enemies. It's fine. Is it not controls? The controls had like keyboard and mouse controls. Is 
Fates come the colonists' lives back, back to them. Oh no, Jenkins! Oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, aim! Oh god, oh god. Oh my god, aim is so difficult. <laughs> I gotta do something with the sensitivity. Oh no. <laughs> Smells like smoke. SD oh no, they got him! That was so fast. <laughs> he deserves a burial. We can't help him now. Forget about him. Oh God. He, he did the Leroy. He pulled a Leroy. They definitely named him that on purpose, didn't they? Is there no aim assist? I, I don't know. I'll have to check for sure, though. Preventable death, by the way, can survive to game three. He cannot. There's no way. Your favorite character. Sometimes Marines die. The rest of us just have to carry on. <laughs> we still have to find that beacon. Aye, aye, ma'am. All right. If there's aim assist, I need it. Uh. I don't think there is. I don't think there is. <laughs> Okay, we're just gonna have to do our best. I don't think I can even control the sensitivity. Cause this is mouse, not stick sensitivity. Well, we can try to lower and see if it helps. We already lost the bestie rip run. <laughs> we absolutely named him after Leroy Jenkins. I figured he's dead too, and <laughs> not Leroy. <laughs> can we pause the stream and have a moment of silence for my favorite character, Jenkins? <laughs> Technology was not available then. Okay, I figured, yeah. In future games, like in two and three, or like in any new game they create. No, it's okay, dude, Dad. I thought there might be, but then it makes sense because it's such an old game. I hope there's fried chicken wherever you went. <laughs> He's chicken in honor, Jenkins. Calibration and gameplay. I didn't check calibration, but I think that has to do with just the image. And then gameplay. Let's see. No, this is something else. Yeah, it's fine. We'll just deal. <laughs> We'll just figure it out. Alright, Bestie is already dead. Rip Bestie. Many gels needed to heal injured squad members. Can be Omni Gel used for bypass decryption. But defeating enemies and opening containers. Uh why to heal? Okay, I healed. I wish I could rebind the controls, but it's fine. Oh my god! Get him, bestie! Get him, bestie! Bestie, are you doing anything? <laughs> we burned our buildings here, Shepard. A lot of bodies. I'm gonna check it out. Computer squad, right, squad. Dude, I shot all of the- Oh, I have three points, you guys! I gotta spend my points. He was so young. I'm playing on controller, Andrew. Uh... Calibrate- Yeah, it didn't do anything for us. No aim assist, just to- uh, Just be an MLG gamer and pop off. Feature games are more custom- Uh, custom ability. So you mean like two and three? Alright, we gotta spend our points. Pistols increases accuracy and damage with pistols. Grants the marksman ability. I can't even level up shotguns until I've gotten to six points in pistols. <laughs> Assault training increases melee damage, increases weapons damage, grants the adrenaline burst ability. Uh, tactical armor also needs five points in assault training. Throw is projects a mass effect field powerful enough to hurl objects and enemies caught in the area of effect out of the way. Each point spent increases the strength of throw, knocking targets farther and inflicting greater damage. That sounds cool. 
Can't do lift yet. Warp is projects a powerful mass effect field that wreaks havoc on a subatomic level. Weakens armor and inflicts damage over time on enemies caught in the area of effect. Increases the duration of warp. Uh... Okay, vanguards are trained for close range combat, can use their own abilities to counter enemy biotic attacks, increases biotic resistance, increases damage with shotguns and pistols. Opens charm options in conversation, decreases the cost of items in stores. Charm options in conversations will be grayed out if you do not have a high enough skill rank. New skill ranks will unlock when you become a specter and as you earn paragon points. Intimidate is opens intimidate options and in conversations, increases credits gained when selling items in stores. Intimidate options and conversations will be grayed out if you do not have the skills. You earn renegade points. Okay, so charm is like being the good person, intimidate is like being the bad person, I guess. I feel like I'd rather intimidate, honestly. <laughs> no, Amos is just um, Mass Effect Field. She said, I know, they said the name. They name dropped. Shepard's like, God, Jenkins was such a noob. The thing. So the Riz, <laughs> things aren't gonna know what Riz them. Well, I don't want the charm option. I want the intimidate option. You're truly ruthless. Useless in different situations. You just open a new box of Danish butter cookies. Yum. I feel like I want to go first with um, maybe assault training. Put one there. Throw. Throw might be nice too. Um, same with warp. Warp unlocks barrier. Okay, let's put one there. One there. Okay, I don't know at this point what I should or shouldn't level up. Maybe I shouldn't have spent the points yet, but I figured I'd just start somewhere. Also, my bestie has done like nothing so far. I'm the one killing everything. Issue order. Oh, issue orders. Attack your target. Have a specific squad mate move to a point or attack the targeted enemy. Regroup and follow you. He's already following me. Oh, send a soulmate or squad mate ahead. I keep calling him my soulmate. <laughs> Wait, how do I do it? Is it not just press buttons on the D-pad? I don't think it's working. Point at the ground? Oh, like that? I forget how to call him back. Okay, well, he's gone forever. <laughs> No, I should probably go help him. Bestie, stay alive! Stay alive, bestie! Okay, I gotta figure out how to call him back. Oh, wait, he comes back! He comes back on his own! Oh my god. He's like a golden retriever. Ooh, things! <gasps> Ned Kit, let's go. <laughs> nice! We gotta heal. Bessie? Oh, he's still here. Okay. See, he follows. So good. Time spent, uh, send more besties into the fray. I. <laughs> so you have to. I don't know. Okay, you don't have to be aiming. You just need to be pointing at the ground, I guess. Oh, he just keeps following me. Okay, so that calls him back if I press down. Shooting the innocent animals? What do you mean? I think they're evil. Okay, these guys are definitely evil. These drones? Wow, look at me go! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <gasps> Bessie! Oh my god. Oh no. My besties. Oh. 
Oh, wait, wait, wait. That wasn't... Oh, that wasn't him. Wait, who was that? Oh, okay. Where are the things shooting me from? Where's the baddies? <laughs> I can't tell. Thanks for your help, Commander. I didn't think I was going to make it. We got new besties. Are you okay? Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, ma'am? I'm sure he's fine. Are you liking it so far? We just started a cult. Yeah, we just started. We already lost a bestie too, so it's going great. Uh, but we're finding new besties. You're the one in charge here, ma'am. Are you okay? What happened here? We're on a mission. Give me a status report, Williams. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. What happened to your unit fighting these things? Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. Uh-oh. Don't blame yourself. You abandoned them! What killed them? Any idea what kind of enemy we're facing? I think they're Geth. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? Ashley? <laughs> they must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. Join us? Take us there, stay here. Take us there. You're coming with us, Williams. We need that beacon. I am. Bestie! It's time for payback. That was a colonist? Oh. You think he's just sleeping? Move out! Move out! All right, we got. See, look, we got a new. We lost a bestie, but we got a new one. Uh. Oh, right. I gotta level up my squad, too. Um, okay, so decryption, right? Because I don't have decryption, I think it makes sense to give him decryption, assuming he doesn't die on us. Sabotage can use decryption skill on easy objects, does 50 damage in a 6 mile radius, 6 meter radius. Overheats enemy weapons, burns them. Okay, let's do this one. Oh, first aid would be nice, too. And what is sentinel? Reduces cooldown time of biotic and tech talents by 5%. Uh, let's start with decryption, and then... I gave myself throw in barrier, right? Oh no, I don't have barrier yet. Okay, maybe we should give him barrier. Okay. Um, and then Ashley has two points. She's a soldier. Um. Let's give her assault training and assault rifles. Overkill allows long bursts of assault rifle fire without overheating. Nice. Here's me. I have zero points. It's fine. Oh, you can hide helmet. Right. Um, there. So far you've learned that besties are expendable. <laughs> Send poor woman to her doom. Ashley, better than Jenkins. I hope so. My father leveling him up, you're just going to abandon- I'm not going to abandon him, okay? Jenkins left us, by the way. Can be done about the sensitivity of settings, uh, is setting options, control, camera sensitivity low in case you haven't already, but it seems there's no actual slider to fine tune it, okay. Usually, like in games nowadays at least, they have a camera sensitivity and then like, uh, one for your- it, it was mouse sensitivity, I think is what it, it was, but, uh, mouse sensitivity and then they usually have one for like, controller sensitivity. Ashley's your girl, you will die on that hill. <laughs> Encrypting electronics and Kaiden. Jenkins had it coming. All right. Wait, Ashley's supposed to be leading the way. What are you doing? The beacon's at the far end of this trench. What is this? Oh, it's a crate. Light armor, human, scorpion one. I am gonna take it. Equipment. Equipment screen allows you to equip and upgrade gear for your squad. Like, uh, select an item, equip, upgrade. Breaks down into Omni Gel. Ooh. Yes. Let's wear it. Did I do it? I think I did it. Okay, that's my original. That's the new one. Cool! We got fashion! 
Uh, ammo upgrade? Okay. Oh my god, there's so many codex items. The Geth are a humanoid <laughs> race of networked AIs. They were created by the Quarians 300 years ago as tools of labor and war. When the Geth showed signs of self-evolution, the Quarians attempted to exterminate them. The Geth won the resulting war. This example has led to legal, systematic repression of artificial intelligences in galactic society. The Geth possess a unique distributed intelligence. An individual has rudimentary animal instincts, but as their numbers and proximity increase, the apparent intelligence of each individual improves. In groups, they can reason, analyze situations, and use tactics, as well as any organic race. Oh, dang. Geth space is located at the trailing end of the Perseus arm, beyond the lawless Terminus systems. The Perseus Veil, an obscuring dark nebula of opaque gas and dust, lies between their space and the Terminus systems. Uh, but I also thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Hi, Mapopo. I said hi back to you. Yes, hello. I hope you're having a good weekend. Start stream with codex reading do all at once so you don't get interrupted a bunch. But we... Oh, you mean like save all the codex we pick up for the next stream? We could do that, yeah. But it's also a nice break, right? Nice break from other parts of the game. Spectres are agents from the Office of Special Tactics and Reconnaissance and answer only to the Citadel Council. They are elite military operatives, granted the authority to deal with threats to peace and stability in whatever way they deem necessary. They operate independently or in groups of two or three. Some are empathetic peacekeepers, resolving disputes through diplomacy. Others are cold-blooded assassins, ruthlessly dispatching problem individuals. All get the job done. I think Nihilus is another, the cold blooded assassin. Operating outside the bounds of galactic law. The Spectres were founded after the Salarians joined the Council. For many years, they operated in secrecy as backroom problem solvers. Only after the Krogan rebellions did their activities become publicized. Assignment of a Spectre is less contentious than a military deployment, but makes it clear mm. that the Council is concerned about a situation. <clears throat> You're doing great, very nice. The people love this codex stuff. It's how people must feel when I talk about the geopolitics of Fall of New Vegas. At least it reads to us, right? Yeah, I love how the narrator gave the old uh, old school PBS documentary type energy. Yeah. <laughs> Krogan's best race. Nihilus is cutie soulmate. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go through those later, I think. Uh, let me make sure I didn't miss anything else here. Oh, you can't really uh, turn when you're running. You can only run in like one direction. Oh, oh, you turn with the other stick, I see. All right, this poor dude. Oh no. Oh no. They're like human kebabs. Run to the waypoint to take cover behind the rock. Enter cover by moving up the rock with your- up to the rock with your weapon drawn. Approaching a low object will make you crouch to take cover behind it. Click left stick to toggle. They're playing the stealthy music! Move to the edge of the cover press. Oh. Oh wow, there is- it is very stealthy. Yep. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Get behind the rock, bestie! Did we get him? Bestie, what are you doing? Ashley! Oh my god, at least this bestie hit. Ashley! Oh, Ashley! Bestie, what are you doing? Throw a grenade? Who, who is shooting? Oh my god, okay. Detonate. Ah!
B to melee. Oh, no. Don't worry, guys. I'm figuring it out. Wait, where'd the baddie go? I think he's hiding behind the rock. Uh-oh. 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 I don't know. Is he still there? They do feel a little bit janky, but not as bad as I was expecting. I wish she was love stealth games and music. <laughs> Ashley has a death wish, standing in the open. I know, what is Ashley doing? She's not even trying to be stealthy. Oh, we got a crate. Pistol? Oh, I leveled up, let's go! Okay, wait, let's look at our equipment. I got two different pistols. Oh, they make it really easy to tell if it's better or worse. I'm gonna equip this one. <laughs> it's exactly the same one, okay. What about Ashley? Okay, we are all about there. <clears throat> My first shooter game feels like it. <laughs> I played Cyberpunk, you guys. <laughs> that one might have been it. Yeah, that was pretty much the first one, I would say. 100% a shooter. And I did spend most of it shooting, yeah. Resident Evil, I would say, too. That's a good point. Yeah, Resident Evil as well. Dig site, investigate. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. No. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. Any survivors? Let's go there. We're wasting time. You think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky. Maybe hiding up in the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Okay. Change of plans, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. Uh, you can swap weapons, yeah, but I... Let me look at my equipment again. I think I... Oh, no, I do I do have other stuff, yeah. Uh, how do I do this again? No. Oh, there it is, okay. That looks like a sniper rifle, pistol... I don't know about that one. That one looks like a shotgun. Let's try it out. Okay. I played Cyberpunk, yeah. <clears throat> I'm not playing Pal World, no. But BY lacks a lot of basic info. Geth Yankee. Uh yeah. Bomb for my guns, yeah. <laughs> So I'm just going. I don't know, like, the mini-map doesn't really tell me what direction to go in, I don't think, so I'm just going. Looks like they hit the camp hard. Uh-oh. It's a good place for an ambush. Keep your guard up. Keep your guard up. It would happen to these people. Oh, God. They're still alive. Oh, no. What did the Geth do to them? Uh-oh. Okay, I'm not actually positive I have the shotgun out right now. I'm not sure. We'll have to see. <gasps> Running! Oh my god! Running! Oh my god! Okay, I think this is the shotgun. Hold, please. Let's try this one. Lancer? Oh! 
Uh-oh. 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 Oh my god! People arrive! <laughs> this is actually terrifying. I feel like my guns are so weak. Hot swap option. I think future games is one that swaps quickly between guns. I think the only way is through this uh, weapon wheel. Might be real. I'm gonna be super liberal, annoying with preemptive blind. It's during this playthrough. <laughs> We're fighting the impaled. Yeah, they came back to life. They're like alien zombies. Yeah? Running in. Yeah, no, he was running in circles. I don't know what our spoilers are. It's okay. It's okay. Don't worry about it, Hot Rod. It's fine. All right. Oh, more stuff. Sniper rifle and light armor again. Oh, you get a lot of loot in this game, don't you? This light armor sucks! Oops. But we got a sniper rifle. Uh, a little bit less accurate. I will take it. Let's see, what about you guys? The armor we just got really not very good. Okay. I don't even think I could change the field of view, right? In this game. Which I feel like is a pretty standard setting, at least nowadays. Pistols. Is Omni Gel nice? That door. It's Hold that thought. Closed. Oh. Security locks engaged. <gasps> Lock pick. Easy decryption. Some locked objects require decryption or electronics to access. If any squad member has the required talent, you will be able to unlock the objects using the decryption or electronics interface or by spending Omnigel. Interesting. Hmm. You're not gonna scream any spoiler? It's gonna be easy to see. Well, Tarot and Dragon haven't played these games before, so they don't know what is or isn't a spoiler. <laughs> so I asked the chat to just let them know if something needs to be deleted. Yeah. Yeah, you do good work, Dudan. Can't equip the new armor because you're not Quarian? Oh, different species? But it had like bad stats anyway. You bet Jenkins could lockpick! <laughs> Advance to the central core, use elastic to move around the ring, press A and B to move inward and outward, avoid the security pro- What?! Advance to the central core, use L, elastic to move around the ring, press A and B to move inward and outward. Oh my god! It's like Frogger! It's like Frogger! <laughs> I just find it. <laughs> Why is this so hard? <laughs> I wasn't expecting Frogger minigame. It's fine. <laughs> Humans. Thank the Hey, maker. Bessie! Hurry, close the door before they come back. You're safe, who are you? Tell me what happened. How did you end up in this shed? We hid here during the attack. They must have come here for the beacon. We're here for the Luckily beacon. It wasn't here. It was moved to the spaceport earlier this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They wow. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended soon. Only ruin and corpses will remain. Okay, this guy definitely is not doing okay. Frogger effect. <laughs> go fast. Trying to go fast and it was not good. <laughs> Back to the Lesser. Frogger on a roundabout. Yeah. Dr. Manuel is so, He's so... Why is he being so strange, right? I don't know. I don't know if there's like... I think he's converting into an alien is what's happening. Yeah. <laughs> they eat this guy. Did you notice a Turian in the area? I saw him, the prophet, leader of the enemy. He was here before the leader attack. of the enemy. That's impossible. Nihilus was with us in the Normandy before the attack. He couldn't have been here. I I'm sorry, Manuel's still a bit unsettled. We haven't seen your Turian. We've been hiding in here since the attack. He is so sussy. 
Can you tell me anything about the beacon? It's some type of data module from a galaxy-wide communications network. Remarkably well-preserved. It could be the greatest scientific discovery of our lifetime. Miraculous new technologies, groundbreaking medical advances. Who knows what secrets are locked Who inside? Who knows? We have unearthed the heart of evil. Awakened the beast. Unleashed the darkness. Manuel Please, needs to chill. This isn't the time. <sighs> attack? Oh wait, no, that's just asking about the attack. I thought that was us attack them. What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit unstable. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. <laughs> Is it madness to see the future? <laughs> to see the destruction rushing towards us? To Timber understand goes. there is no escape? No hope? No. I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. Better give him another dose. Okay, bye. Williams, take us to the spaceport. You can't stop it. Nobody can stop it. Night is falling. The darkness of eternity. Hush, Manuel. Go lie down. You'll feel better once the I don't know. Part of me wants to listen to him. He said he saw Nihilus here. Leading the enemy. Okay. Do I trust the crazy doctor or do I trust our new alien bestie? I don't know. I don't... Shoot him? No! I can't. <laughs> can't do it. Right, you guys stay here. You be safe. Oh, they don't have anything. They just have little bunk beds. All right, we're going to continue forward, I guess. I don't know. Hush, Manuel. I don't know. They're being real saucy. Oh, here he is. Saren. Uh-oh. Nihilus. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. <gasps> Don't you dare kill my alien bestie! <gasps> what is that? Off in the distance. It's a ship. Look at the size of it. Wow! Is that the hand that we saw earlier? Was it that ship? Uh-oh. 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 Wait, I wanted to loot. I just wanted to loot. Besties? Besties? <laughs> they won't go down! Okay, hold on. I need a better gun. What is this one? Oh, that's the sniper rifle. Let's try it out. Oh, nice. What? <laughs> he seems confused. Uh oh. I saw a baddie here. Where'd he go? Okay, maybe he's gone. Uh. Uh, no, he's back. Why, why are they so good at hiding? Wait, hold on. Let me send my bestie out as bait. <laughs> bestie, you gotta go.
Maybe we got him. No, I think he's still there. Oh my god, do I have to play Frogger again? He's right there! Oh my god. It's fine, everything's fine. Um, I don't think we need to heal yet. I think we're still okay. The sniper rifle's fun. <clears throat> a looter in a shooter world. Yep, <laughs> always. Shooting random box like crazy. You could see his little head. I couldn't tell if that was his head or if it was something else. Oh, there's people in there. Okay, Frogger. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. <gasps> what? Oh god, this is so hard. <laughs> Get in there. Why is that Everybody so hard? Stay calm out Moving there. sideways We're is so difficult. We're not armed. Is it safe? Are they gone? They're gone. It's safe. Stop right there. We took care of them. Those things were crawling all around the shed. They would have found us for sure. We owe you our lives. Ah, uh, I still can't believe it. When we saw that ship, I thought it was all over. It showed up right before the attack. Knew it was trouble the second I saw it. So we made a break for the sheds. These guys seem less sussy than the other two that we found. <clears throat> when Adderall runs out and you have work to do, baiting your teammates already approach shooters. I was just trying to get the my I feel like my besties aren't really helping in terms of shooting so I'm like if you're not gonna help at shooting I'll just make you draw out the the enemy you know pick the shotgun class shoes I did <laughs> I did my shotgun I need a better shotgun though should have went infiltrator you think beacon? you know anything about the Prothean beacon they dug up we're just farmers we heard they found something out there but it never really mattered to us not until now um Tell me everything you remember about the attack. The three of us were working the crops when that ship showed up. We just saw it and ran. I don't know what happened to the rest of the crew. They were by the garage, over near the spaceport, right where that ship came down. No way they survived. You don't know that. We survived. If they made it to the garage, they could have had a fighting chance. What else can you tell me about the ship you saw? I was too busy running to get a clear look at it. I think it landed over near the spaceport. Tell them about the noise, Cole. That awful noise. What is she wearing on her head? Kind of signal as it descended. It sounded like the shriek of the damned. Only it was coming from inside your own head. It was probably trying to block communications. Whatever it was, it felt like it was tearing right through my skull. Almost made it impossible to think. Hmm. Interesting. Sounds like alien tech. Stop right there, criminal scum. <laughs> Infiltrated really fun, even more so in ME2. I have to go. They look hey, suspicious. Cole, Shoot we're them. Just a bunch of farmers. These guys are soldiers. Maybe we should give them. The yeah, stuff. give me, give me stuff. Jeez, Blake, you gotta learn when to shut up. You should come clean what's going on. I don't like being lied to. If there's something you're not telling me, some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. Smuggling the crime, like what? That's why you ran here. What kind of packages? I found a pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came back. But you'll probably get more use out of it than we will. Give it to me? Oh, there's more options, but I can't pick them. Is that all you're holding out on me? Hand it over and I'll be on my way. So if I would have leveled up charm or intimidation, I probably Good could luck. have gotten the other options. Stinger too. Uh Less heat sink. I'm not sure I know what heat sink capacity is. Seconds? Is that like your weapon overheating? Heat sink? I'm gonna give that to someone else actually. Um Who do we trust more with the pistol? Maybe Ashley? She's a soldier, right? Okay. <clears throat> fashion, you wouldn't understand? Shoot first. Raise dead later. <laughs> Alright, these guys are very sussy. I don't know about them.
This looks like something we could blow up. Containment cell. <gasps> oh no! Commander. It's oh no, nice. our bestie's dead. Uh oh. Bestie. Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait! Don't don't shoot! I'm one of you! I'm human! Who are you? You need to be more careful. You're a coward! <laughs> what are you doing sneaking around back there? I am sorry, I was hiding from those creatures. Is he sussy? My name's Powell. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. Tell me what happened. It wasn't the gas? Other one? Oh, man. <clears throat> no ammo, and this one just heat build up. Okay, I see. More heat sink equals more heat dissipation equals takes longer to heat up. I should never have switched to traditional ammo, in my opinion. Oh, such a big debate in the fan base back in the day. Oh. So you mean in between like the games, they switched the ammo system? You like this one? Have a good night, Jackie. Get lots of good sleeps. Where's the visible aliens at? I don't think we've met them yet, chum. When our bestie is dead, is that Luke? <laughs> Jenkins now Nihilus. I know, that was so fast. Losing all the besties. Would a human say he's human? Shoot it. Yeah, why did he kneel? Why did he need to say he was human? Like, you didn't think we could just tell by looking? Tell me what happened. It wasn't the Geth. Other one. I need to know how Nihilus died. Uh, the other one got here first. He was waiting when your friend showed up. He, he called him Saren. I, okay, I Saren is probably who that crazy doctor your saw. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. Then what? What about the beacon? Where'd Saren go after he killed Nihilus? He jumped on the cargo train and headed over to the other platform. Probably going Not the, after beacon. the beacon. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I hadn't been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. Get didn't find you. How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? They never had a chance. I, I, I was already behind the crates when the attack started. Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... Sometimes <laughs> I need a nap to get through my shift. I, I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. You survived because you're lazy? <laughs> Lucky break for you. You make me sick. <laughs> I was gonna have the hardest time being ruthless. I'm gonna have the hardest time. I mean, two and three use bullets. Okay, from two onwards is regular ammo. I I'm not gonna lie. I already know I'm gonna prefer uh, not not ammo. <laughs> Whatever is in this one, I'm gonna prefer this one. I already know. It went further away from hard sci-fi as games progress. Guy's face looks like calculus three. <laughs> Got dirt on his face, why I had to clarify he was human. Okay. <laughs> Most relatable character, right? Like me for real. Taking a nap, you make me sick. <laughs> I'm gonna feel so bad. You ditch work, then you cower back here and do nothing while the Geth butcher everyone else. I don't even have a gun. What was I supposed to do? Run I out I mean, he has a good die? point. I couldn't save them. Nobody could. It, it was horrible. <sighs> Naps are over. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. <laughs> Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. <laughs> Don't be a rat. The corporate overlords don't deserve your loyalty. Oh, man. My dude was just taking a nap. He was. Oh, heck. What in the world? Radioactive rounds, high explosive. The music. I like how there's music in all the scenes. Oh. He was just hiding. Oh no. Where's the other bestie? Bestie, what are you doing?
Okay. Uh oh. I can't tell when they're shooting if it's from my besties or if it's from someone else. Why are you glowing blue? I can't tell if it's my besties or if it's enemies. Who's shooting? Why are you shooting? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, there's some- Oh, I see. I see. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna shoot this because I want to know what it is. Oh, it does blow up. Yep. Okay. <laughs> you can't be mean in these guys. I feel so bad. I feel so bad. Just doing his best and chooses tearing him apart. I picked the ruthless path, you guys. I gotta stick to my guns. All right, let's give these guys different guns, maybe. You got the upgraded pistol. What about you? Let's give you... That one, I'll use. Let's try this one again. I don't know, I like the sniper rifle. Oh. I see the baddies. Oh, maybe I should throw a grenade. Oh my god! Grenade, right? Ah! Okay. My grenade did not quite go off in time. I need to heal. And then maybe we switch back to <laughs> the sniper rifle here. I see your head! <laughs> okay. So far, I feel like the enemies haven't dropped any loot. I don't know if they're going to. Train controls. Oh, I'm control- I'm the conductor now. Yep, it's me. What game difficulty? I'm on normal. That is what was recommended for me. Hold on, I gotta join this heist. Does the sniper rifle sound in the game? It's pretty cool, yeah. All right, I'm conducting the train. This game is fun. I'm enjoying it so far. Set the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no <gasps> evidence. Timber goes. <laughs> How could you? Oh man, crazy alien things happening. Oh, it's us, people arrive. Demolition charges. The Geth must have planted them. Disarm. We need to find them all and shut them down. Okay. Oh, there's little flags on the mini map that tell you where they are. Let's go, besties. Uh oh. Uh oh. Look at them just floating. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay. Go, run, go! Uh-oh, uh-oh. No, 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 go. Go! So rigged. Shield? No way! All right. Jammed? What is jammed? Why is it jammed? Oh my gun? Did someone jam my gun? No, maybe not. It's just my mini map is jammed. So I don't know where the last beacon is. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Get back here. Quit hiding. Oh, I think he's dead. I got an upgraded sniper. Let's go. Combat sensor. Terrible heat sink, though. Okay, maybe not. A lot of pit. Maybe I should uh, dismantle some of these. that's what people do, but I think I'm going to start dismantling a bunch of stuff. Okay. Oh! It's unjammed. It's this way. There it is. Whew! He's chewing five gum. I am enjoying! There's a Tay Tay sighting! I'm so sad I'm missing the game right now. Alright, we got all of the... the bombs. Oh, just kidding. Oh my god, I'm so bad at running in this game. Fatigued. Okay, so there is some sort of stamina. <clears throat> Bioware used to be so sick. You forgot about Carnage? My mini map. My gun is fine. Hi, Horrible Hog. How are you doing? Censored Raspberry all over the radar. Yeah, they, they put jam all over my radar. <laughs> radar jam. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> Here we I'm sticking with the sniper rifle. This guy's just running in circles. Okay. <laughs> My God, it's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> they were just standing there looking at each other. Another sniper. What is this? Oh, the beacon. Okay, wait. Let me look around first. I don't know how many secrety secrets there are, but maybe just check real quick. Ooh! Armor upgrade and weapon upgrade. I'm getting so much loot, I don't know what to do with it. Oh, it's the same thing. Okay. I thought it was something new. It was not. 
You love the run? It's so wobbly, too. My Lone Star would give you the raspberry. You forgot how silly. Oh, what is this? Storage locker. Override using Omni Gel. Do I have to play Frogger again? Oh my god, it's Crazy Frogger! Ah! Oh, easy. <laughs> easy peasy. Guys, I'm getting better at Frogger. Hurricane one. Oh, this one's actually better. Okay, let's go with that one. Convert that one. I can't tell what things you can interact with and what things you can't. If it's lit up, like, I automatically am assuming that it's something you interact with, but you don't really get to know until you get closer to it and, like, a bubble comes up, right? Like this. I I don't like Frogger, I'm gonna say that. Ooh! <laughs> it would be okay if it was easier to control, but moving left and right in Frogger is so difficult. <clears throat> Hi, Gibby. We're a Mass Effect. Yes, yes. You were at a family dinner. You almost forgot it was stream night. Oh, I hope your family dinner was so good, friend. Could have been here from the beginning. We spent a lot of time debating which class and and all that stuff, the backgrounds to pick, so <laughs> you haven't missed too much. <laughs> Get used to Frogger. I, maybe I'm just going to stock up on Omni Gel, so I don't have to play Frogger. Like me. Easy hacks for baby. <laughs> Pro Frogage. <laughs> yeah, I thought you could expend the Omni Gel, but I feel like I'm going to need that for other stuff. Or bodily involved in Frogger than the rest of the game. Yeah, it's true. All right, we got the beacon. Normandy, the beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. Oh no. That's Steve? Shepard! No, don't touch it. It's too. Well, GG's good run. <laughs> the beacon exploded! I think that was the mothership. We identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime. The Normandy, a human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They, they managed know. to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. <gasps> that was me. Oh, he's mad. Oh, he angry. Oh, she <laughs> You can tell she's used to this behavior. This human must be eliminated. No, I was, we're supposed to be besties. Uh oh. Chaos, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Thank you. Welcome in. <laughs> now for the good ending. Doctor, hey, we're alive! Dr. Chakwas. Dr. I think Chakwas. She's waking up. It's just a bad. It was all a dream. You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? I'm okay, what happened? Not great. <laughs> Not great? Think Jupiter dead now? No, we're fine. <laughs> Another mission well done. <laughs> we're fine, we're fine. 
Who would win Choosy's brain on a super powerful beacon built by an ancient race? <laughs> Choosy's brain. Listen, what race is this Lee? I don't know, but she's cool. I want her to be my bestie. Such a toxic race. I like how he threw something at her and she was just like, <laughs> like dodging it. No big deal. It's all the dream. You used to read Word of Magazine. Okay, I'm okay. What happened? How did I end up here? How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. Yeah, no kidding. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. What about the be- You were careless! <laughs> How mean should I be? What about- he? I mean, he- uh... Okay, we'll just see what about the beacon. Where's the beacon now? <laughs> what happened to it? The beacon mean. exploded. A system overload, maybe. And the blast knocked you cold. Williams and I had to carry you back here to the ship. Something obviously happened when I touched the beacon, okay? Because that dude, that alien dude, Saren, was very mad about me use, using the beacon. But all I did was it sucked me in the air and then sent me images of things, and I feel like that was all that happened. He's just that shocked. <clears throat> uh, you want to be out for about 15 hours? <laughs> are you supposed you are supposed to be I am supposed to be ruthless. I did pick the ruthless path, right? And so far we haven't been too ruthless, but I'm sure we'll get there. Uh was I hurt not a local hospital? Let's see things. I appreciate it. Physically you're fine. Oh. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense. I told you guys, it was all a dream. I was dreaming, not a dream, a vision, more like a nightmare. It was a vision. I saw. I'm oh. not sure what I saw. Death, destruction, nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may. Oh. Oh, Captain the captain's Anderson. here. How's our exo holding up, Doctor? When all the readings look normal, I'd say the commander's going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? I feel bad about Jenkins. What happened to Williams? I'm pissed off about the gif. <laughs> I'm fine. Can my beacons explode? Y'all them their life sucks and their cooking is garbage. <laughs> Ruthless tomb. It was all a dream. Why is it called the mess hall? That's a good question. I was wondering the same thing. Why is it called the mess hall? Uh, I feel bad about Jenkins. What happened to Williams? Williams, is that Ashley? Yeah, what happened to Ashley? Pissed off about the geth? I'm fine. Um... Let's start here. I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. Did we leave Gunnery Chief Williams back on Eden Prime? I figured we could use a soldier like her. She's been reassigned oh, nice. to the Normandy. Good, that's a mistake. <laughs> Williams is a good soldier. She deserves it. Lieutenant Elenko agrees with you. That's why I added her to our crew. Pissed off about the guest. Intel dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were walking into down there. That's why things went to hell. The Geth haven't been outside the Vale in two centuries, Commander. Nobody could have predicted this. Mm-hmm. Sounds like an excuse. Chakwas fixed you up and reapplied your makeup. She's a saint. She really is. Mm -hmm. Have you seen Sailors Eat? <laughs> is that why it's called the Missile? I went for the money. How are you doing? Got a lot of reading to do. Yeah, a lot of lore in this game. It's a synonym for meal. Oh. Here's some throwing Jenkins on the bus. Wasn't your fault. He sucked. <laughs> I mean, he was kind of new, right? He was a rookie. The term mess all comes from an old meaning of mess food for one meal, as per Google. Oh, thank you, Google. Thoughts on AI. I am definitely wary of AI, for sure. I feel like... I mean, I feel like this is something that everyone knew was coming... And it's just like crazy to see it happening in this lifetime, I guess. But yeah, <laughs> AI definitely something to be concerned about. You wanted to talk? You said you needed to see me in private, Captain. I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. 
Nihilus is dead. Yep. The beacon was destroyed and Geth are invading. Yep. The council's going to want answers. You've got nothing to hide? I did my job. To heck with them! Uh... I mean, I can't just say that, right? <laughs> I'm so bad at being ruthless. I'm gonna say I did my job, right? Other coder friends love AI. That is until AI is like, well, we don't need coders anymore, probably. Targeted for termination, she knows too much. Uh, feels like crypto felt. Russia hasn't launched a nuke in 60 years. How could we ever be prepared? Hi, Ina, how are you doing? Good to see you. Hello, hello, hope you're having a good weekend. I like I did my job, like not my problem, yeah. Nihilus died, yeah. Um, so, uh, so what was this, what was the guy's name? I forget what it say. Something with an S. Saren. Saren. Thank you. Yeah. Saren, who is a friend of Nihilus, I guess. They look like the same alien race. Uh, he shot him. He turned on him and shot him. But we don't know why. But we know that Saren is responsible for killing everybody on Eden Prime. But I don't. we don't know why he turned on Nihilus. <clears throat> Where's Heart 855 ever? Leroy? <laughs> Yeah, it's way more impactful than crypto. It's already implemented all over. I'm gonna say I did my job. The Geth would have wiped out the whole colony if I hadn't stopped them. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren, that other Turian. Saren's a specter, one of the best, a living legend. But if he's working with the Geth, it means he's gone rogue. Okay, he's gone rogue. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. He wanted the beacon. He didn't come to Eden Prime because he hates humans. You're right. Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how. I don't know why. But it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? We had a vision. Hi, Cal. How are you doing? I've never played any of the Mass Effect games. No, it's the first time. I'm, ex I'm enjoying it a lot so far, though, honestly. The combat is fun, too. Uh, doing well. Hope your weekend's going well, too. Oh, thank you. I'm really, really liking this game. Yeah. And I way to pick the neutral dialogue option. I know. I keep picking the neutral ones. I'm going to do better about that. But right now, I feel like I need to, you know, just establish a foundation with these people, okay, before I turn on them. The Benedict Arnold of space. I feel bad being mean. But there was no, like, it was it was Soul Survivor, War Hero, or Ruthless. There wasn't like a, oh, be nice to people option. There was a Ruthless option, though. <laughs> so mad eyelashes, though, not gonna lie. Oh, I hate humans, too. Honestly, same. Yeah, it feels as icky as crypto. I, I do agree with that, Anne Rose. Yeah, not that it would be as impactful or not. Yeah, yeah. The stream master made their eyes look kind of crazy. Did their eyes not look this crazy in the originals? <laughs> There's no way. The eye, eyes in old games never look right, you know? And fortunately, it's gonna cost a lot of people jobs. A similar efficiency movement to when the Industrial Revolution happened. Exactly, V6. Not sure what crypto is besides being virtual money, I think. It boils down to that, pretty much, yeah. They did not unless my memory is bad. You can be a reformed ruthless. <laughs> I'm gonna tell them about the vision. Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of... Vision. I don't even know what we saw in the vision. A vision? A vision of what? A warning, war, or death. I think it's all of these. A warning, war, or death. I'm gonna scare him and say our death. <laughs> Chaos! Chaos! I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the council. No, don't tell them. What will we say? There's nothing to report. Forget it. <laughs> why you gotta why you gotta ruin the fun, dude? <laughs> Can be a reformed ruthless. Looks like there's an, uh not a single thought behind their eyes, yeah. It's like they're they're staring, you know, into the abyss. Hi David, how are you doing? How's F ever? I mean Mass Effect. I'm enjoying this a lot. I'm sorry, David. I know. I know you want FF10. I know. Chaos. Most evil laugh you've ever heard. 
<laughs> You're here to kill chaos. Like, chaos take the world. Yeah, we just could be a little bit chaotic, you know? The <laughs> most ruthless, ruthless giggle. There's nothing to report. What are we going to tell them? I had a bad dream? Mm -hmm. We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation, his politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. I'll not if I can help it. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the council on our side. Understood. We expose him. They can't help us. I feel like I can't trust anyone. <laughs> this is me in every game. I feel like I cannot trust anybody. I just gotta do it on my own, you know? Looking at humans, he might not be wrong. It's true. Understood, sir. We expose him. They can't help us. I mean, I want to be on the captain's good side. We prove Saren's gone rogue and the council will revoke his specter status. I'll contact the ambassador and see if he can get us an audience with the council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. Okay, bye. Glad to Commander, I'm glad to see you're okay. Losing Jenkins was hard on the crew, and I'm glad we didn't lose you too. Are you holding up? Jenkins will be missed. We'll talk later. Soldiers die. Yeah, I wish I could have done something to save him. <laughs> I was there. You did everything right. It was just bad luck. It's just bad luck. <laughs> it's been a hell of a shakedown, Cruz. Our first mission ends with one Spectre killing another. The Citadel Council's not going to be happy about that. Probably use it to lever more concessions out of the Alliance. Seems like you've been around. Keep it to yourself. Don't worry about it. You've got a good grasp of the situation. You a career man? Yeah, a lot of biotics are. We're not restricted, but we sure don't go undocumented. May as well get a paycheck for it. Besides, my father served. I made him proud when I enlisted. Eventually. But is that why you're here? Because of your family? We were farmers, it's not important right now. I'm in it for the action. <laughs> this dialogue. <laughs> Never been a council I liked. Gotta get your galactic war crimes license before you can stop him. Ruthful playthrough. Hi, Napalm, how are you doing? Good to see you, friend. Hello, hello, we've been well. Where's the Jenkins who option? Wow. <laughs> People really like Jenkins. He was alive for like five seconds. What do you mean? <laughs> Saren uh, did back there was unspectured yeah, for the action. Mm -hmm. We'll oh, talk oops. another time. I Make picked sure the wrong one. Go for this <laughs> with the ambassador. Aye, aye, ma'am. Okay, let's go talk. It's hard to pick the right option with the wheel, you know. Uh, I guess I'll take the stairs. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. Losing Jenkins. Everyone's very sad about Jenkins. Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. Ship. The Ascension, flagship of the Citadel fleet. 
Well, sizes and everything. <laughs> Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower, too. Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side, then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower. Normandy out. Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to dock 422. This is an outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue Spectre. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Wow! Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Seren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Council's kind of rude! Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. <laughs> Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. They're blind! I'm I'm saying it. Okay, we're being ruthless now. They're blind! <laughs> He's dangerous. It's the truth. They're blind. I mean, all of these are pretty much saying the same thing. <laughs> uh, Jenkins would love to see this <laughs> F1 car. That's sci-fi, all right. Remember getting so immersed here that you enjoyed just walking around and about just to admire the place? Thanks for nothing, aliens. Yeah, half your crew. It's just like three of us. <laughs> <laughs> They're blind! I'm not gonna sit on my ass just because the council doesn't want to do anything. If they won't stop Saren, I will. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than okay. enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. Because Saren killed That's him! Fault, not hers. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you wow. on the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate politicians. <laughs> Congo! Where locations are marked on your map, open the mission computer to access it. Okay. This is point of interest. What is this? Oh, that's us. What is this? Transition to CSEC Academy. More points of interest. Oh, I can't zoom out any further. We can only zoom in. Dang, there is a lot of stuff. This place is huge. Okay. <clears throat> the ambassador of <laughs> 2007 writing Krongo. Kringle Max. Pringle. <laughs> Follow the pulsing arrow on your radar to the Citadel Tower. Why did they have to call it that? But why? Computer console. Oh my god, Frogger. Oh my god, Frogger. <laughs> Frogger. Frogger. Alliance Patrol Report. Captain Hendrickson reported some unusual energy readings during a patrol of the Argos Row Cluster. She had particular concerns about the Hydra system, but was recalled before her team could investigate further. No patrols are scheduled for that sector. Do we want to send in a recon team? Hmm. Interesting. Okay. You're going to invite Jenkins to join the call to game? <laughs> Too late. Wow! Only on 
understand what you're saying. Earth Clan, you are in the wrong place, I think. Your ambassador is next door in the large office. Chastising remark. <laughs> Don't be so rude, Din. At least introduce yourself. <sighs> I am Din Korlak, Volus Ambassador. Is there something I can do for you, Earth Clan? <laughs> what is this place? You are in the embassy for the Volus and the Elcor. Your ambassador is next door. In his own <laughs> Why does he sound like Eeyore? <laughs> in this shared space, I aid my fellow Volus when I'm not being interrupted. I'd like to know more about the Volus. I'm sure our history and culture would bore you, Earth Clan. What is it you do here? I look out for the best interests of the Volus people. No easy task considering how often we are overlooked by the Council. Chastising rebuke, Dim. The Council favors your species greatly. <laughs> you are naive. The Earth Clan will be invited to the Council long before our species wow. will. Why aren't the Elcor or Volus part of the Council? All species must prove themselves before they join the Council. All but the Earth Clans, it would seem. Dismissive. Ignore the Volus Ambassador, human. He is incorrect in his assessment. Really? How long have we been waiting? How long do you think we'll continue to wait? Bah, this talk is wasted on the humans. Goodbye, Ambassador. <laughs> yes, you love yes. this world. Good day, Earth Clan. Hello there, humans. Hello there. Sincere <laughs> apology, but I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. You seem distressed. Is there something I can do to help? <laughs> Alarmed response. You overheard that, did you? <laughs> this is all going so wrong. And it is the Asari consort's fault. She's the one who started all this. What did this Asari do to get you so upset? I cannot speak more about this problem. It is too sensitive. Suffice it to say, she has compromised my authority as a diplomat. Where can I find this Asari consort? She is across the bridge from here. Her offices are easy enough to spot. Good day, human. Good day. This is creepy spooder. Hi, Seabacker. Yeah, Mass Effect. I am enjoying it a lot. <clears throat> Humans are just better, I guess. <laughs> of course, we use pheromones. Other species can't detect, so the auto translators have to add tone tags. So you sound like IRL. No way. <laughs> no way. I guess we're going this way. Mhm. Mm Welcome to the Presidio. Good day, Commander. Blue the human ambassadors up the stairs, first room on the right. You know who I am? Yes, I receive reports on all newly arrived dignitaries and notable people. What is this place? This is the Presidium. More specifically, you are at the Citadel Embassies. If you have more questions, please access Savina. What's that? Oh, Avina is the virtual guide for the Citadel. Feel free to access the terminal yourself. Personal What's question. Your name? What do you do here? My name is Sephiria. I'm the administrative assistant for the Embassies. You seem to be distracted. The embassies are the hub of all Citadel politics. <laughs> when you represent trillions of citizens, it tends to get a little busy. Bye. I should be going now. <laughs> Have a pleasant day. They love the Elcor so much. They're really cool. That's what you look like, IRL. Next door. <laughs> no. Allow me to be your guide. Greetings and welcome to the Presidium. My name is Avina, and I am pleased to be your virtual guide throughout this level of the Citadel space station. What does that mean? I am a fully interactive virtual intelligence programmed to provide spontaneous guidance at predetermined locations of interest throughout this level of the Citadel. 
I may also be contacted through any of the Presidium VI terminals, should you require assistance. Give me the tour. You are standing at Presidium Tourism Terminal 1. On either side of this lobby are the embassies of the various Citadel races, along with CSEC headquarters. On the far end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower, where the Council meets regularly to discuss matters of interstellar importance. Goodbye. Okay, we'll talk later. Goodbye, and thank <clears throat> you for using Avena. Please enjoy your visit to the Amused Citadel. Amused response that it's very funny. She said, if you have questions, go Google it. She pretty much did. Okay, so that's how you go to a different part of the floor. Do financial district. Okay, this place is huge, isn't it? Two embassies. How did I get on this side? Wait, go back. Space talk for read a book, bro. <laughs> Avina plays Scorpions on Spotify. Here's the time right now in Hawaii. Highly recommend to just listen to background chit chat from NPC. Some of them will have arcs that carry through all three games. Just makes the world feel lived in. No one said anything that I've been able to listen to, I don't think. Yeah, we can't hear their conversation. All right. Open. Wait, is this where I just came from? I'm already lost. I can't believe I landed a job here. This place is fantastic. <laughs> oh, we got a codex. And another codex in HP. Human delighted welcome. It is good to meet you. <laughs> Creepy spider thing again, okay. Ah, you humans are a wonderful sight here on the Citadel. Okay. Maybe I should look at my map. I don't know where I am. That's Avena, okay. Embassy Lounge, CSEC Headquarters. And then we fast travel to get to these other places. Oh, there's so many places to go. Okay. Commander Shepard, I didn't expect to see you here. Did Ambassador Udina send you? Who are you? No, does it matter? I go where I want. <laughs> You're so mean. Okay, very confusing to navigate your first time. Okay. Basically the capital of the universe. Not in talk, but some do. Corporate wage slave. It does feel real. Hi Flake, how are you doing? Hello, hello. We're having a good weekend. You played the series through six or seven times. You still get lost in the Citadel. Okay. I remember getting lost in like Firelink <laughs> a lot. So it's gonna be, yeah, I'm probably gonna get lost around here for a while. Um, does it matter? I go where I want. Nobody sends me anywhere. I just need some We're so mean. <laughs> you humans are always so curious. Always sticking your fingers into someone else's pie. Is that the right expression? Is that the right expression? Uh, never mind. Forget I asked. Was there something you needed, Commander? Attitude towards human specter CSEC investigation. What do you know about the specters? They're the right hand of the council, or so they like to be called. More like the underhand so side mean. of the council. You don't like them? What do you have against the specters? I can't abide any organization that considers itself above the law. Especially when it's left up to each individual specter to decide when and how to bend the rules. Hmm. Tell me about CSEC. CSEC provides necessary police and security services throughout the Citadel. We're a civilian government agency, though many of our members have had military training. Of course, as the CSEC representative to the council, I spend most of my time liaising between the two. Tell me about your investigation into Saren. Sorry, Commander. I don't make a habit of giving out details about ongoing investigations. Fine. I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. 
Goodbye. Whoa. More hacking. More frogger. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, you can D pad this. D pad. Oh. Oh. No. <laughs> D pad might be easier. Maybe. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> Hi, Edgy Camps. I'm good. You love this game. I'm enjoying it a lot so far. Yep. Sticking fingers in people's pot. It sounds inappropriate. Nice of this guy to try to learn our idioms. It's true, though. Idioms are, are definitely tricky. People do what to my pie? <laughs> Somebody's what? <laughs> Diplomatic advisory warning. The following message was transmitted from an untraceable account to multiple recipients across the extranet. Further monitoring of the situation is warranted. My fellow biotic, you have been selected to receive this transmission because of our sh uh, shared plight. Few understand us, fewer tolerate us. We must stand together. We must build our own new world. Come, join us in the Hawking Ada cluster. Only as one body can we right the wrongs done to our kind. Okay, sounds like someone's trying to gather a coop or something. Shepard. Oh, what sorry. I do for you now? Nothing, bye. I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. Goodbye. You look very out of place here, my dude. Don't believe the rumors. What do you want? Oh, Commander. Is there something I can do for What's you? What's going on with his Relax, hair? Private. This isn't an inspection. Right, sorry. What can I do for you, Commander? What can you tell me about the Asari consort? I, uh... Well, she's an Asari who works here as... That is, she helps people with things. <laughs> you never went to see her, did you, Fredericks? Very helpful. I, uh, no, I never did. Uh, I couldn't afford it. It costs half a year's credits just to go in and talk to her. Can you at least tell me where I can find her? Sure. She's across the bridge from the embassies. Thanks, kid. Have fun. Try not to get into too much trouble. <laughs> I will. Ashley, stop Have being Krungo! Why is she so Krungo? I don't have time to talk now. I'm very busy. Wow. We're not doing a good job making alien besties, are we? Bartender. Hello, Commander. Can I get you something? Why not? No thanks, Commander. Let's have a bevy. Just hack into his computer. I'm hacking all the computers. Sounds like a cult we would know. <laughs> it's true. <gasps> Play too much baldies. Ashley, so Krongo, you love it. She's a little sus, right? It's part of her charm. <laughs> My one alien friend got killed. We're, we're down to zero alien besties. What have you got? Information, mostly. Would you like to know about Wait, some I thought you were going to give me a bevy. Nearby? Is this not a bartender? <laughs> Sure. What's going on around here? Well, you found the embassies. Not much going on here. Across the bridge, you'll find the bank, the Emporium, and Shaira's. If you haven't heard of her, you soon will. If you need supplies, you can try the markets one level below. For entertainment, I try... Flux entertainment? Or Cora's den. What is Shaira's? The consort, uh, she entertains clients who can afford her services. Most of the diplomats and ambassadors have visited her at one time or another. She's a very powerful woman, but also very respected. Tell me about Flux in Cora's den. Well, <gasps> Flux has gambling. gambling and dancing, certainly more lively than this place. Cora's den, on the other hand, well, let's just say it's livelier and deadlier, all at the same uh -oh. time. Goodbye. You guys ready to jamble? So long, Commander. Have a pleasant day. Okay, we gotta go. I think we explored everything here, right? So we might need a fast travel now. Yeah, we started there. Okay. I don't know if I looked at what this was. Oh, I did. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 500 gambles. <laughs> Are you going with 500 timber ghosts just to make sure? Um, yeah, we want, but he didn't even give me a bevy. What was that about? 
info tender, pretty much, yeah. Pretty much bars our information. Ooh, wait, there's something else here. Leads down to CSEC Academy. The Alliance Stocking Bay can be found there. Uh, is that where I want to go? To embassies, to Citadel Tower. Wait, wasn't I just at the embassies? I don't know. Yes, 500? All right. Uh, let's see. Timber Ghost going with 500. Good luck, Timber Ghost. 736. So close, so close, but unlucky. Sorry, friend. Oops. Nope. Put that away. Um, I must talk to the council to gain access to the wards. Okay. Let me just take this and see where it goes. Oh, it just gives you directions. Okay, never mind. Thought those were fast travel. Uh huh. Little tower and wards. Down this ramp and past the small plaza. Okay, well, look at this alien. Whoa. Let's go this way. I'm already very lost here. Very lost. I still can't talk to these spider people. Citadel Rapid Transit. Is that where I want to go? Hold on. I'm guessing I still can't use this elevator. Yeah. Okay, let's go. The fast travel point, okay. What quest am I doing? Uh, well, we just got here. I was supposed to go find the council, I think, right? Oh, I gotta level up too. I did the century system in the Hawking Ada cluster. And, okay, that's the thing I got from reading the computer. Hydra system, uh huh. Go to the Citadel Tower on the Presidium for an audience of the council, right? Okay. Wait, I lost the fast travel already. <laughs> Presidium locations. Uh, Citadel Tower or Embassy. I think we want to go to the tower, right? Go to Are the Chiefs winning? Tay won the game for us, let's go! How exciting, yay! I just went walking up to you and saying that. <laughs> Spooter people be spoodering. <laughs> Get the fast travel point and choose Citadel Tower. Okay, perfect, perfect. You're rooting for the Bills? Oh no, I'm sorry. It would have been cool to see the Bills too. All right, let's go this way. Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council. Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Okay, this is going to be our new alien bestie. He knows something's up with Saren. Commander Shepard? Garrus Vicarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. You don't like Saren? What did you find? You blew it! <laughs> Cat there, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Welcome in. Hello, hello. You would never fast travel. Uh huh, uh huh. Ban all the bills. Yeah, no. <laughs> Teleported there so. Yeah, I got here so quickly, right? You ready for the bills? I hate the bills. They take my money every month. You don't like Saren. What did you find? You blew it. What did you find? Come across anything I should know about? Saren's a specter. Most of his activities are classified. I couldn't find anything solid. But you I know found he's nothing. up to something. Like you humans say, I feel it in my gut. I think the council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. I don't think they're going to. But we'll try. I'm gonna be so ruthless to these council people. So ruthless. I should probably look at my map. 
Oh, it's straight ahead. Okay. Oh, also, I need to level up. Six points! My goodness. I think I'm just gonna, like, level up things equally. So I have a question you guys can answer. Do people usually pick either Charm or Intimidate, or do people level both of these up? I'm wondering if I should just focus on one or focus on them both. New bestie. So ruthless. You're gonna be seasick with the camera. I'm so sorry, Cindy. It, it is making me a little bit dizzy too. I think if I still had the nausea problem, I would be sick. <laughs> Cause when you're running, the camera wobbles a lot. You did both. Unruthfulness. Ruthless to choose is refusing to tell them their fly is down. <laughs> Vote one, level up murder. Dep oh, we're definitely gonna level up murder for sure. Depends on what morality you want to lean towards. Let's vote, please. I'll intimidate for max ruthlessness. Yeah, y'all can vote if you want to. You to both would prioritize charm quite a bit. I don't know if I want to charm anyone. I think I just want to scare people, you know? I feel like the fact that we're already a commander makes people respect us. So like, you know, I don't need to charm them. I just need to scare them. <laughs> You leveled both, but it depends on what kind of character you want to be. I mean, I want to be a nice character, but I also want to be ruthless. So I don't know. Pick one since points are too valuable for both. That's what I was thinking too. You vote, I follow my heart. You want to be scary and focus on intimidate? I do want to be scary. Follow your ruthless heart, okay. <laughs> ruthless, might as well throw two in there, why not? Okay. Uh, I haven't done any warp or throw yet. I'm sure it's coming, but we haven't done any of that yet. Put one in throw. Okay. Oh, you have four points. Nice. Barrier. Decryption. Um, do first aid. Okay. And we'll put one in sentinel. Why not? What is soldier? Increases health by 4% regens. Three health per second. Wow, that's actually really strong. Uh, armor. Another one in pistols. Okay. Uh-oh. I went in the menu screen and I got lost. Hold, <laughs> hold on. Map. Okay, we just need to go straight basically, but can I not go in here? All right, let's go talk to the council. Oh, wait, what is this? Oh, that's rapid travel. Am I going the wrong way? No, no, that's where we came in from, is this way. <clears throat> Gives you more options for ruthlessness, yeah. Don't need to scare if they are dead. <laughs> that too. I'm scared. The already started, come on. Oh, really? Charm Paragon, polite, friendly answer to intimidate. No one has renegade answers sometimes come off as callous the and cold. Attack is a matter of Not necessarily concern, evil, okay. Nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. Oh, the they don't believe us. by Citadel security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow specter and a friend. He's here! That to catch him off guard. He's testifying and he's lying! You always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. That was you, not me. How did you get involved? Um... <laughs> that was you, not me. You're the one who destroyed the beacon. Then you tried to cover it up. Shift the blame to cover your own failures, just like Captain Anderson. Wow, shots fired. But what can you expect from a human? Insults typical. See, he hates us. You'll pay. I'm going with the first one. This one's just like a little. <laughs> Be ruthless. Taylor Swift wins again. Yes, as she should. Show them you're ruthless. I believe him. He seems trustworthy. <laughs> they trust him. They don't trust us. Can't trust the Turians. Yeah. 
that was you not me <laughs> no you we pulled a no you on him it actually was me no it was actually kai kaiden kaiden he's the one who did it okay but i mean honestly they they don't know that either <laughs> you'll pay i feel if i shout this it'll make us look bad i'm gonna be like you're stupid to insults saren despises humanity that's why he attacked eden prime your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. Wow. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that. That's not his decision. Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This okay, meeting good. has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor. Crew protecting I'm him, right. I'll find proof. You arrogant B word. You can't hide behind the Council forever. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered <gasps> by yes, the Yes, my vision. Are we allowing mm -hmm. dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? You won't see the truth? No, what's the point? I mean, what is the point? They won't listen to us. Oh. Hi, Growl. How are you doing? Yes, hit us with that bird fact, friend. Hello, hello. Physical pain on my face when she just chooses the mean option. <laughs> What's the point? You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. <laughs> oh, they're not happy. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. Whatever. This meeting is adjourned. It's okay, we'll kill him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> At least some of these aliens got us, uh, got us smell crazy. <laughs> it was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason, to exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. The council won't help us. How do you know Saren? Yeah, how does he have a history with him? All right, growl, today's bird fact. Torpor shutdown. Some birds such as black-capped chickadees go into a state of torpor at night during extremely cold weather. During the evening, the birds enter a sheltered cavity or similar place to spend the night the long night sometimes they huddle with other birds to share body heat the birds will shiver to keep warm but they interrupt it with periods of inactivity causing the body core temperature to drop slightly as they alternate shivering with staying still the heart rate and respirations decrease along with their reducing temperature when they reach a full state of torpor they lose consciousness the more their body's temperature drops the more precious fat they save which they use for energy. Toward morning, the birds start shivering again. As this increases, the body core temperature rises. When the birds are fully out of torpor, they leave the shelter and go about their day. Now you know, very cool fact. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> very cool one, big one today. Thank you, Growl. Shouldn't the Asari lady on the council be more open to psychic powers and stuff? Who knows? It's so, it's, it's, it's very political. The, the people in this game, you know? Are you really right and not simply taking your word for it without fear? Yeah, it's true. It's true. Having evidence would definitely make this a lot more fair. Mm -hmm. Precious fat. All right, we're going to say... Tell me about oh. this history between you and Saren. Okay. <laughs> I worked with him on a mission a long not time good. ago. Not good. I'm going to have to, like, figure something Please. out for this game because... We shouldn't talk about When I click in, things just happen. But I know what he's like. And he has to be stopped. Now the council won't help us. Ricky, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Council won't help us. We need to deal with Saren ourselves. As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the executive. Yes, alien bestie. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. I'll talk to him. He could be useful. I don't trust him. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. <gasps> I won't waste my time with that loser. You won't have to. I don't want the council <laughs> using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. 
Shepard will handle this. Dang. The captain deserves better. I'm on it. I don't like this. Uh oh. I'll take care of it. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my oh, office. Oh no. Today. Poor captain. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. Let me go see him? I thought you said he was a drunken loser. Couldn't hurt to go talk to him. Just be careful. I wouldn't call him reliable. You and Saren have a history. Oh wait, I already what read happened? this. About 20 years ago, I was part of a mission in the Skillian Verge. I was working with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. Saren eliminated his target, but a lot of people died along the way. Innocent people. And the official records just covered it all up. Oh, dang. I saw how he operates. No conscience. No hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. He's a monster! Investigate? So would I. Uh. <laughs> okay, we can't say that, though, okay? We don't need anyone sussing us out right now. No evidence? Just trust me, bro. <laughs> I, I am gonna have to alt tab. I'm used to just clicking back in, but I'm gonna have to alt tab. Yeah, I don't like. <laughs> Since Saren's virtually untouchable, maybe we can touch him IRL. Mm -hmm. Skilly and Verge. That was in the first codex you read, I think. Yeah, I remember reading that somewhere. <laughs> so I, who wins this one next week? Oh boy, ruthless choose. Yeah, but we don't need to tell him that, right? We'll just keep that to ourselves. <laughs> He's a monster. Killing innocents doesn't end wars; it causes them. I know how the world works, Commander. Sometimes you're forced to make unpleasant decisions, but only if there's no other way. Saren doesn't even look for another option. He's twisted, broken. He likes the violence, the killing. And he knows how this to This is not his awkward tracks. at all. He's not describing us to a T. It's fine. <laughs> uh, okay, goodbye. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the ambassador's office if you need anything else. Okay. We have a few things we need to do. Let's look at our journal. Um, right, we gotta find Garrus. What are assignments? We can't do those yet. And then the other guy he said was at the bar, the den. I don't know where that is either. Hold on. Kor is down in the lower wards and speak with Harkin. Lower wards. Oh, wards. Nice! All right. If we don't get a bevy here, I'm gonna be upset. I'm gonna riot. What are these birds? You like ravens? They're cool. Oh, is it who's going to win the next NFL game? <gasps> wow, all of you ravens believers. So sad. Ravens all day. Ravens are probably going to win, but I hope the Chiefs win. That would be really cool. Chiefs can be cool, but ravens are birds and birds are cooler. He's not describing you at all. You're a big plushie so far. I'm going to be ruthless, okay? That is my background. That is my upbringing. That's her. Uh, what, what, what? Who, why are our guns out? Who are we shooting? Why are we shooting? Assassin? Why is there an assassin here? What? What? <laughs> why is there an assassin here? <laughs> why are there assassins? Oh no. Oh, they're too, they're too wob wobbly. Okay, I got him. Oh, he sent assassins on us. Are you kidding me? We better choosy put the guns fine, away. Choosy, fine, choosy, fine, choosy, <laughs> fine, choosy, fine, choosy, fine. It's fine. It's fine. MK, thank you so much for the six month resub, half a year. Thank you so much, MK. I really, really appreciate that. Welcome back for another month. I hope you're having a wonderful weekend. All right, we got to find chair. Sit down. Wait, where's the chair? Oh. Wow! OK. 
Okay, let's just see what happens when we relax, okay? now and Jenna <laughs> oh my god what does it take to get a bevy around here my goodness oh <gasps> what is happening here <laughs> current choosy shepherd is that kind of ruthless or you think of a really good insult about someone but the argument already passed hours ago <laughs> pretty much yep cutie with the blue team mm -hmm. Who wins second game? Lions versus, is it 49ers? I don't know, that could be either one. Talk to your squad mates. A million light years from where humanity began, and we walk into a bar filled with men drooling over half-naked women shaking their asses on a stage. <laughs> you don't think they're here because of the food? Oh my God. I see why this place is so popular. It's got quite the, uh, Oh my god. <laughs> Put your tongue back in your mouth before you trip on it. <laughs> I got business here, but not with you. Okay. Go away. I'm not interested in talking. Not now. I'm watching the show. Wow. Back off, Rex. Fizz told us to take you down if you showed up. What are you waiting for? I'm standing right here. This is Fist's only chance. If he's smart, he'll take it. He's not coming out, Rex. End of story. This story is just beginning. Out of my way, humans. I have no quarrel with you. What was that all about? Who knows? Let's just try not to get caught in the middle. Yeah, good call. <laughs> No, Bevy, guess we're gonna have some murder in the club. The back rooms are private, reserved for Fist and his friends. Who's Fist? He owns this club, but the customers have to stay out front. What did that other Krogan want? Rex. Personal matter. Not real chatty, is he? Okay, Goodbye. we're going. Your best arguments Enjoy come to you call. days later, right? <laughs> Are we heisting again? Okay, hold on. I need, I still need to program this into my uh my stream deck. It'll make it a lot easier. Turtle friend. All right, we're looking for someone specific here. We haven't found them. I guess I need to go into that uh, private area. The back rooms are private, reserved for Fist and his friends. Goodbye. No, oh, I gotta go in. Enjoy the club. No. Oh. The back rooms are private, reserved oh, for Fist oh, and oh, his friends. Oh, it's I'm going not. I'm Goodbye. going in. Wait, what? Enjoy the club. Oh, maybe I talk to this other guy again? No? You? Hey, oh, here he is. Sweetheart, you looking for some fun? Because I gotta say, that soldier get up looks real good on that Okay, body creepy. Why don't you sit your sweet little ass down beside old Hark and have a drink? We'll see where this Okay, can goes. we just shoot him? Now, right now, forget. You're disgusting! I'd rather drink a cup of acid after chewing on a razor blade. You trying to hurt my feelings? <laughs> you gotta do better than that. After 20 years with c -Sec, I've been called every name. <laughs> yes! Not rigged. Not rigged. That dance, though. <laughs> kill him. I want to kill him so badly. We're looking for someone specific that I don't know. Mm -hmm. Fair about We're gonna get interrupt, please. <laughs> Timber goes, I'm so sorry. Okay, listen. We're even now, right? Even Steven. Bestie left me. I'm so sorry, friend. You left me earlier, though. Now we're even Steven. <laughs> So very rigged. Prince Garrus, maybe you can help me. Don't call me that. Uh, 
Where's Garrus? I'm looking for a CSEC officer, a Turian named Garrus. Garrus? <laughs> you must be one of Captain Anderson's crew. Poor bastard, still trying to bring Saren down, eh? I know where Garrus is, but you gotta tell me something first. Did the captain let you in on his big secret? What secret? Not my concern, don't waste my time. I mean, if I say this, he's not gonna tell us where Garrus is. Is there something I should know about the captain? The captain used to be a specter. Didn't know that, did you? It was all very hush-hush. The first human ever given that honor, and then he blew it. Oh no. Screwed up his mission so bad they kicked him out. Of course, he blames Saren. Says the Turian set him up. How do you know this? You're lying? That's not why I'm here. You said they covered all this up. How'd you hear about it? I spent 20 years working cases here on the Citadel. People on this station love <laughs> to talk. Secrets are like herpes. If you got them, wow. might as well spread them around. Oi, Ron, how do you know this? You're lying, disgusting. That's why I'm here. Quit wasting my time. Just tell me where Garrus went. Garrus was sniffing around Dr. Michelle's office. She runs the med clinic on the other side of the ward. Med clinic. He's going back there. I'm out of here. Yeah, good. Go. Ooh, leveled up again. Dude, we still have not gotten a bevy. Jenna? Hi, be with you in a minute. Jenna! <laughs> Rude. <laughs> Kick him in the nards. We didn't get to rig earlier, yep. Yeah. <laughs> you got a small, small loan. <laughs> All right, we gotta get to some other place now. Lower market? Uh, that's not right, but I kind of want to go there. Wow! Hello there, welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? Yes, I need supplies. I need supplies. Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be You need a small loan and rose, oh no. You will see. Uh view standard items, view non human armors. Uh, I'm guessing I can't wear these. It said non human armors. Krogan and Turian. Okay, I can sell things though. Uh, I think that these upgrade things do I need to like equip them on my weapons? Is that what I do with these? How do I use the ammo, weapon, and grenade upgrades? I don't think I figured this out. Yeah? I don't I don't think the game tutorial taught me how to do that. Shield regenerator. Grenade upgrade. Ammo weapon upgrade. And was richer than all of us. <laughs> oh, you said I can wear the armor as the thing after the hyphen. But my team is all humans. Should I hope they're not humans? How the heck would you even wear a human? <laughs> I would open my inventory. They work passively in inventory. Tari! <laughs> Wait, let me finish looking at what this guy's selling. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. You will see. Wow! Assault rifle. This is way better. Why wouldn't I want that? 
Heavy armor? I don't think anyone can wear heavy armor right now. Oh, because it costs 62,000 and I have 1,400. I'm poor. This is not very good stuff. Medigel upgrade increases maximum units of Medigel by one. Is this permanent? It is, right? It has to be. This upgrade? They were like mod slots, tier weapons, and armor. Okay. It is. Okay. Let's buy that. A latest risk control license for the Normandy Quarter Master. I don't know what this is, but I feel like I should buy it. Vintage upgrade two. Oh. Oh, I'm poor again. Well, I gotta sell some things. The stuff in this list, is it only stuff that's not equipped, right? So the stuff that I have equipped, it won't show up in this sell list. Is that right? I just want to make sure I don't accidentally sell all my weapons. You'll find armors and weapons on missions? Okay. Extra access flasks. Yeah. You have a quartermaster on the ship that license allows him to sell stuff. Oh, okay, okay. Don't need to buy every item right now. Yeah, but I want to get the, like, the, you know, something good, right? I'm so poor though. I am very poor and none of this really sells for a lot. Okay, maybe we don't sell right now. Ooh, there's more. Okay, let's go this way. You're Commander Shepard, the hero of Eden Prime. Who are you? I'm so honored to meet you. Pleasure's all mine. Hello. Who are you? <laughs> Do I know you? Uh, no, no, oh. I'm just a fan. One of your biggest fans, actually. That's so My name mean. is Conrad. Conrad Werner. They say you killed more than a hundred Geth on Eden Prime. We oh my god, you're so mean. I just tried to help, really. Leave me alone. I spent most of my time trying to stay alive and help the colonists. Hey, uh, I know you're probably busy, but um, an autograph? Okay. autograph. <laughs> what? No. <gasps> oh my God! Who are you, bro? I feel so bad. Uh. Uh. Should I equip upgrades? Yeah, I gotta do that. The adoring fan. I mean, I'll give him an autograph. <laughs> you look so unhappy. Here you go. <laughs> Thanks. I really appreciate it. My wife is going to be so impressed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll let you get back to work. Oh, but next time you're on Earth, I'd love to buy you a drink. Thanks again. Goodbye, Conrad. <laughs> Hello, Earth Clan. No doubt you've just come back from the colonies. Will you be needing supplies? Show me what you've got. Oh, lots of merchants. Most excellent. I am sure you will find something pleasing. <laughs> Anything for a fan. Wow, everything's so expensive. Cipher tool. Oh, the Omni tool. Combine license. I gotta remember to come back and buy these medi gel upgrades when I have the money. Best place on this board to buy upgrades. Mm hmm. I don't think you bought this here. I don't sell this model. Look, I know it was you. I remember your face. Really? That's impressive. 
Usually you humans can't tell one Turian from another. This was the place. Now are you gonna give me a refund or not? Do you have your proof of purchase? What? No, no, I, I, I don't think you ever gave me one. I'm sorry. I can't. Okay. Wait, where am I supposed to go? Uh... I haven't seen the last of Conrad. What harm could there be in talking with him if you meet again? Sums up with Conrad. Oh, med clinic, upper wards. Um, probably this way. I think we're in the upper wards, right? I'm Emily Wong. I'm an investigative journalist working here on the Citadel. Could I have a moment of your time? No. <laughs> uh, like, here's the only bad thing about being ruthless is that you're gonna miss out on the dialogue if you just shut everyone down. <laughs> no, goodbye. No autograph for Conrad, bye. <laughs> Hi, Claw Baby. How are you doing? Good to see you. Hello, friend. Hope you're having a good weekend. We're massed and unaffecting. Yep. Those are the dialogues somebody was telling you to listen to. Oh, it's a mission, not an assignment. Human clients, uh, being human clients. Yeah. <laughs> game's still going well for you. Yeah, yeah. I'm really enjoying this game. You do upgrades. You click on a weapon inventory, and there's a weapon above with a number of bosses next to it. Oh, boxes. Click on a box to tell you what can go in that slot. Oh, okay, okay. I'm gonna listen to her. <laughs> I so would do. It's on dialogue both ways, it depends on the situation. What do you need? I've been hunting for evidence of corruption and organized crime on the Citadel, but there are places I can't go. I was hoping you might share anything you find during your own investigation. I can make it worth your time. You gotta have access to better sources. Why contact me? I'm using every source I can find, but I think I've got a better shot with you. I read about the Siege of Torfin, sending your men to their deaths, shooting slavers as they tried to surrender. I need someone who isn't afraid to get their hands dirty. Someone who'll do what needs to be done. That's you. We'll see. No promises, but if I find anything relating to your case, I'll inform you. Thank you, Commander. You won't regret it. She looks very disappointed. <laughs> Oh, see med clinic that way. Uh huh. End of the words. View of nebula. Okay. Oh, here it is. Hold on, before we go in there. I think that's it. Then you ever ask for your autograph? No, then you can't have a moment of my time. <laughs> I didn't tell anyone, I swear. That was smart, Doc. Now, if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or we'll... Uh-oh. Who are you? <gasps> Let her go. Ah! Oh. Garrus. <gasps> Get them! Wow, they're fast! Oh. Oh, there's more. Replenish Medigel. Did we get him? Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. It was big risk, no problem. Nice shot! 
We send people to their deaths and shot people who surrendered. That's ruthless. Mm -hmm. Is that your twin who Ashley? We do kind of look alike, I guess. Uh, not me, but like my character in the game. We have similar hairstyles, yeah. Gareth B, C, FaZe Clan. <laughs> you wish Jenkins was here. <laughs> Choose Clan. Love how their bodies go flying when you blast them. It's great. You took him down clean. Sometimes you get lucky. Alien Michelle, Bestie. Are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you, all of you. Uh, we can protect you. Who are these men? Tell me what happened. Why were they threatening you? Who do they work for? They work for Feast. They wanted to shut me up, keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. What Quarian? A few days ago, a Quarian came by my office. She'd been shot, but she wouldn't tell me who did it. I could tell she was scared, probably on the run. She asked me about the Shadow Broker. She wanted to trade information in exchange for a safe place to hide. Where is she now? I put her in contact with Fist. He's an agent for the Shadow Broker. Not anymore. Now he works for Saren. And the Shadow Broker isn't too happy about it. Fist betrayed the Shadow Broker? That's stupid even for him. Saren must have made him quite the offer. That Quarian must have something Saren wants. Something worth crossing the Shadow Broker to get. Evidence. <clears throat> No Liza P, is everything okay? Hi, nice one. We finished Liza P. We finished the challenge run last stream, and you can see all the boss victories on my YouTube. Yeah. Liza P is defeated. Yep. Complete. Correct. Yeah. Character in game looks exactly like me. <laughs> Dark. She must have something that proves he's a traitor. Did the Quarian mention anything about Saren or the Geth? She did the information she was going to trade. She said it had something to do with the Geth. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. We need to find her, but Fizz has her. We don't have anything yet. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. Alien bestie! Why do you hate Saren? You're a Turian. Why do you want to bring him down? I couldn't find the proof I needed in my investigation, but I knew what was really going on. Saren is a traitor to the Council and a disgrace to my people. Alien bestie. You made your case okay, I still don't trust you. I trust him. Welcome aboard, Garrus. You know, we aren't the only ones going after Fist. The Shadow Broker hired a Krogan bounty hunter named Rex to take him out. Yeah, we saw him in the bar. We could use him or we don't need him. Oh, man. Rex. I don't know. I don't know if he's so- I don't know. I feel like I'm trusting too many people right now, you know? All right, Jet with the VIP gamble going with 678. Good luck, Jet. 878! Oh, so close! Literally exactly 200 off. So close, Jet. Unlucky. I'm so sorry. Why are you hollering, sir? <laughs> Alien bestie. The only good alien is a bestie alien. Yep. Alien bestie with no indoor voice. <laughs> it's a heck of a name, though. I don't know. I feel like we don't need him right now. We have four people in our party. We probably don't need him, right? I trust Garrus. I don't know if I trust Rex. We can handle this on our own. Let's go. <gasps> I can only have three at a time? Is that right? Wait, how does this work? Add to squad. Oh, okay, you can see she's all combat. He's a mix of combat and tech. He's a mix of uh, biotic and tech. Wait, I can add them all, right? No, I can't. I can only add two. Okay. I'll take these two for now. I never properly thanked you for saving me from Fist's thugs, Commander. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't been there. I need supplies, personal questions, happy to help, goodbye. You got in over your head. Let me take a look at what you have for sale. Of course. 
You're not gonna give me free things for saving your life? 174,000? Microprocessors wired into a combat suit can monitor vital functions and release really small localized doses of mini gel to accelerate the healing process. That's like really expensive though. Wait, this is way cheaper for like very similar benefit. Okay. Um let me try to slot my equipment. Uh Okay, so I see the empty slots, but I don't see... Is it left bumper? I don't see... Is it this one? Oh, here we go. Okay. I don't even know what kind of... Oh, assault rifle. <laughs> so much going on. Okay. Assault rifle. Uh, shotgun. Let's see. Anti-personnel rounds. Designed to shred flesh and other organic matter. These rounds are particularly effective against living targets. Plus 15% damage versus organics. Uh, minus 15% cooldown reduction. Plus 20% shield bypass. Minus 30% damage. Okay. <clears throat> Garrison infil Infiltrator, Ash is a soldier, Kaiden is a sentinel. Okay. Bye, Krunka lady. <laughs> Garrus is cool. I want to test him out and see what he does. Actual alien bestie, you slash expert. Minesweeper, you're never playing this game again, Cindy. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Cindy. I'm going to... Let's put stuff on the sniper rifle since I like this the most right now. So enemies use jamming technology to block your weapon radar. The combat scanner upgrade improves detection levels, making these enemies visible. High caliber. Plus damage, minus rate of fire, and heat absorption. Improved sighting, plus 5% max accuracy. Let's go with this one. Okay, cool. Very cool. Um, yeah, yeah. Printed blind, thank you for the blind, yep. Um, okay. I think we're ready to go. I keep forgetting what I'm doing. Oh. Rex, uh... So we were at the bar, but we didn't see Fist. I don't know how we can get in there. Uh, seemed like a hard- Something's gonna happen with Conrad and I'm gonna regret giving him my autograph. I just know it. Music Academy. Okay, I think I need to somehow maybe go back to the bar. Or maybe we can go to CSEC first. Uh, if I can figure out how to get back there. <laughs> I'm so lost here right now. No, put that away. Oh wait, directions. Wait, where's the directions? I just saw them. Oh, this one. Okay, okay, okay. Go down. Go down. At the end of the hallway at the bottom of these stairs. Okay, easy. Peasy. Don't kid yourself. <clears throat> it's even bigger 
Hi, Da. I know. We're playing Mass Effect. I know. Hi, Red Penguin. Good to see you, too. Hello, hello. Happy Sunday, friend. How are you doing? Hope you're having a good weekend. Should have been more ruthless. I know, but I felt bad. I feel bad. No, no fast travel needed. It's right down here. Hey, I know you. You're Shepard, right? Torfin was a case study during my training. I can't believe you took out the whole base. Amazing. Looks like you have a fan. Another fan. I'm sorry, I just never thought I'd meet someone like you in person. Uh, my name's Lang, Officer Eddie Lang, Citadel Security. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. What are you doing down here in the wards? Anything I can help you with? Do you know a CSEC officer named Harkin? I shouldn't really say too much. He's been on the force a lot longer than me. But I've heard things, you know? Drinking on the job, taking bribes, that uh -oh. kind of thing. Rumors mostly, but they suspended him, so some of it must be true. Why'd you join Citadel Security? I don't know. Seemed like the right thing to do, you know? Maybe it's in my blood. My grandfather was a cop back on Earth. It's kind of what CSEC is. Police for the Citadel. I'm still pretty new at it, but I like it so far. Way more interesting than staying back on Earth. You get to meet all kinds of cool aliens. Like those Hanar. <laughs> Wild. Cool Plus, aliens. Plus, gets a lot of respect here. We uphold the law. People, even aliens, appreciate that. Mm -hmm, I have mm -hmm. to go. Right. You're probably Presidium has so. CSEC. Lower words around. have bar. But it said CSEC was this way. This way? Oh, it's an elevator. In light of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It was my weekend, thank you for asking. I watched sports ball and had many bevies. My favorite, great question. Either Paloma or Dark and Stormy. Very nice for Penguin. I watched a lot of sports ball too. Who were you cheering for? Shepard. Yours 2140 and the headsets we are using still look like that. Yeah, not a lot of change there, huh? Uh, I think we want to go this way. Rex? Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. <laughs> you want me to arrest you? I want you to try. Go on. Get out of here. Do I know you, human? My name's Shepard, you will. Fist is mine! <laughs> Maybe if I say that, he'll join me and then we can uh, take him down together. <laughs> oh no. It held the message because it said loins. As if you were talking about your burn in loins. <laughs> You're cheering for Packers and Lions and Bills and Ravens. At least a couple of them won. Yeah, very nice, very nice. Uh, this was the original version. We'd still be on that elevator ride. Or oh, was it really long? It's probably like the loading loading screen, right? Rex is so cool. You guys like Rex? Um, do I know you, human? My name, Shepard. You will. Fist is mine. If I say this, he he. There's no way he's gonna let me take him on my own. My Oops. name's Shepard. I'm going. I after pressed the fist. wrong one again. Thought you might want to come along. <sighs> Shepard, Commander Shepard. I've heard a lot about you. We're both warriors, Shepard. Out of respect, I'll give you a fair warning. I'm going to kill Fist. Fist knows you're coming. We'll have a better chance if we all work together. My people have a saying. Seek the enemy of your enemy, and you will find a friend. Welcome aboard, so you'll join. I like that saying. I do like that saying. I think we're gonna get along just fine, Rex. Let's go. I hate to keep Fist waiting. Cool. Not the burning loin. Because <laughs> you're a team, the Panthers, Omega Sec, you're rooting for whatever lives closest to the Panthers now. Who would that be of all the remaining teams? Uh, 
I guess Kansas City, not San Fran, Baltimore, Baltimore. You're cheering for the Ravens, Cindy? <laughs> Rex Garris and one other alien you haven't met yet are your favorite characters in the game. Uh, I gotta pick my squad again. I haven't even got to test out Garrus. All right, let's put Rex in. Okay, we'll test Garrus out later, I guess. Rex in the party now. Okay, I gotta go back to the bar. Uh, you guys said bar is in the words, is that right? I don't know if I should take the, oh yeah, to the words here. You've got impressive biotic power. Humans should never have switched to the weaker L3 implants. <laughs> My addicts can be pretty bad, and I'm one of the lucky L2 implants. The L3s are safer. You don't stop using a gun just because the kickback has a little sting. <laughs> oh, Rex. <laughs> Another alien bestie, right? New recruit. You ravens. New part member. <laughs> Guess you are. Jenkins could have been in this menu. No way. No way. All right, we gotta go back to the bar. I don't know if I know how to get there. Um. Oh, here we go. This way. This way. Wait, we haven't gone upstairs yet. I wanted to explore everything, but I'm getting so lost. Let's see, can we fast travel to the bar? No. I think the bar is downstairs. This is where the market is. Jenkins will live on in our hearts. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Here we are. Okay, I found it. Wow. Miracle. I want to go to the gambling place. We haven't gone there yet. Uh oh. Oh, shoot. Look out. I'm on it. Ugh. Wow, Rex just went in charging. <gasps> wow, the bartender! My dude! You didn't even serve me a drink. You just killed me. Or you tried to kill me. Uh-oh. Bouncer. Uh-oh. Not the bouncer. Uh-oh. Okay, you guys deal with the bouncer. Who in the heck? <laughs> oh my god. Did they get him? They did not get him. Oh my god, my besties are the worst. is in the way. Okay. I'm killing everybody. This is like cyberpunk all over again. Uh-oh. Why was he not? Oh, that's fist! Oh, God! The turret! Get 
Hit the turret, besties! Go, go, go! Wait! Don't kill me, I surrender! Smart move, I need information. Start talking! <laughs> Glad we have a gun game again. I know, I know. Who knew I'd be so into all the shooting? I knew there would be murder in this club. It's only a matter of time. Next round's on me. Sniper round, that is. <laughs> She's learning. Pro Counter-Strike Blair, no. It, it's hard because I played with aim assist in Cyberpunk. In this game, there is no aim assist. And it's not, it's not going as well. <laughs> the enemy bark flashback. Hold the line, enemies everywhere. Hi, Javin. How are you doing? Wait, don't kill me. <laughs> Start talking. Tell me where the quarian is, and I won't have to shoot you in the kneecaps. In the She's kneecaps. Not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's no use to you now. Let me kill him. Wait, wait. I don't know where the quarian is, but I know where you can find her. The quarian isn't here. Said she'd only deal with the shadow broker himself. Face to face? Impossible. Even I was hired through an agent. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker, ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. Fig's like, Mom, please pay me. Uh, we have to save her. Where's the meeting? You son of a Beyonce! Uh, we'll say, where's the meeting? <clears throat> You're good! Awesome! Talk, space rat! All the aim assist we need is... Er, not Rex. <laughs> where's the meeting? Give me the location. Now! Now! Here on the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make. Oh it gosh, we gotta hurry. Oh! I took him out anyway. Oh my God. <laughs> the shadow broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. It's surrendered never that he deserved it. A lot of people died because of him. He had it coming. Now let's move. We have to save that quarian. Oh, no. Go before it's too late. What? Okay, how do we go? Where do we go? How do we go? We need to go. Oh my god. Wait. Weapon locker. I gotta play Frogger! Hold on! Yes! That was crap. Literal crap. <laughs> Never playing Frogger again. Ah! Oh no. Oh no. We're screwed, aren't we? Get away! He's hiding. Wait, maybe this is a good time for a shotgun. Oh! <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay, we gotta go. We got to go. Oh, I don't know where I'm going. Hold on, hold on. Sarah's been a set a trap for the quarry and you have to get to the alley before the, okay, they said it was like near the markets, right? So I think I need to get out of here. They said, oh, they said, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Wait. How? This, do I have to go this way? I thought they said markets. Oh God. Uh, are these baddies? Assassins, they must be baddies. Uh oh. Did you bring it? Where's the shadow broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way, the deal's off. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
Bessie, you're in the way! Bessie, you're in the way! Couldn't trust him. <laughs> Jenkins wouldn't have been surprised. <laughs> we got crap. Corin's gonna die because of fire. No, it's fine. Everything's fine. Are you okay? I took care of him. Give me the evidence. You've got proof Saren is working with the Geth. Hand it over. Not so fast. Who are you? A friend? I'm with the Alliance, someone who saved your life. I don't have time for questions. <laughs> I need the evidence you have against Saren. I guess I owe you. But not out here in the open. Ruthless! We need to go somewhere safe. The ambassador's office. It's safe there. He'll want to see this anyway. Okay. Whew. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards, an all out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many. Who's this? <laughs> Quarian? What are you up she to, Shepard? She can help us just doing my job. Shut up and I'll tell you! <laughs> What? Don't remember that tally? Get Yankee? I'm being ruthless. Yeah, I'm just doing my job. You wanted proof Saren's a traitor. This is it. Really? Maybe you better start at the beginning, miss. My name is Tali. Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. Ogrimage, please continue. What about Saren? Get to the point! I've never heard of this before. It is a tradition among my people. When we reach maturity, we leave the ships of our parents and our people behind. Alone, we search the stars, only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. In this way, we prove ourselves worthy of adulthood. What kind of evidence did you find? How'd you get it? During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some <coughs> kind of defense mechanism. What did you find out? Most of the core was wiped clean, but I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. What's the conduit? We've got him! <laughs> Heckin' get Yankee. <laughs> Easy three. Almost only not save the first place they would pull a bug to spy on the humans. You all love Tali. W Tali. Shepard's taking awful talking awful confidence when he hasn't seen the evidence yet. We know. We just know. He said Eden Prime brought him one step closer to finding the conduit. Any idea what that means? The conduit must have something to do with the beacon. Maybe it's some kind of Prothean technology. Like a weapon. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Uh-oh. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. I'm thinking it sounds like it could be the, the matriarch woman voice, but I don't know. Uh, Dark Knight's other voice when talking about Reapers. Reapers, what are they? Are they some kind of new alien species? According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. She's right, it's true. It's not far-fetched. <clears throat> Hi, Daryl. How are you doing? Welcome in. Chum with the VIP gamble. Going with 420. 
Blazinski. <laughs> All right, good luck, chum. 420. 27. Chum, so close. So very close. <laughs> but unlucky. I'm so sorry. Uh, I'm going to say not far fetched. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Gath revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non organic life, and they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. They need to know. Will they believe it? Don't tell them. I mean, they're, I don't think they're going to believe it. This is a lot to handle. They might just ignore everything we tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audio files prove Saren's a traitor. The captain's right. We need oh to present this to the council right away. What about her? The Quarian. My name is Tali. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Yes. Let me come with you. 27, basically 420. What about your quest? You could be useful. Join us. You're not ready for this. I thought you were on your pilgrimage. The pilgrimage proves we are willing to give of ourselves for the greater good. What does it say about me if I turn my back on this? Saren is a danger to the entire galaxy. My pilgrimage can wait. Krogan muscled next to her. Better listen. <laughs> Cannot synthesize audio in the future? You could be useful. Join us. You're not ready for this. I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks. You won't regret this. Henderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. I don't know who that person is, but that's definitely not Jenkins that we're missing, okay? <laughs> definitely not Jenkins. All right. Oh, she's all tech. Hmm. I can have her and Rex to balance out. Okay. Cool. Um, now what? Uh, return where the ambassador presents the Corian's evidence to the Citadel Council. Return to the Citadel Tower. Yeah, go back to the tower. Jenkins would have loved her book. <laughs> Does not make a nice round balance. Why not? We have all of the three, right? Isn't that what we need? Because Rex had the the red and the purple, and she's all tech. So I feel like that's what it has to be. Oh my god, this map. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. There's still so many places I haven't visited. Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Patia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. I'm happy to help. I'm listening. What is it? <laughs> a lot of people want my help these days. What makes you special? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Did they say, why let me help? That's garbage. Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. We'll put this right. I'll find out. This is pointless. We'll look into it. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. The expensive bar. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral. And the respect Hopefully he's not talking about the bar that we just shot up. 
Okay, we gotta go to the tower this way. Is that this? I'm so lost. Okay, yeah, this one. I'm so lost. <laughs> I don't know if the fast travel is actually fast or not. I feel like I could just walk everywhere, you know? Okay, councils this way. The bolus won't be joining the council for years. I'm not so sure. The humans are making a strong push, and you can bet the bolus will be right on. New recruit. <clears throat> oh, you said it makes a good balance. Okay, I thought you said bad balance. <laughs> sorry, sorry. You got put on a spike and turn into a blue person. That would be bad. Did I go backwards? Where's the council? I did go backwards, apparently. <laughs> Don't mind me. Don't mind me getting lost. Hi, Cold Kaz. We are playing Mass Effect. How are you doing, friend? I did go backwards. <laughs> Leave it to me to go the opposite direction. Oh, hi, Captain. Come on. Udina's presenting the Quarian's evidence to the Council. All right, I think they're still not going to do anything Eden about Prime it. Eden was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. There's your proof. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to Let's answer go. for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. It is the Matriarch. Matriarch Benezia. Who is she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. The Geth revere them. Saren's bringing them back. That's why they follow Saren. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this conduit is? Does it matter? It's trouble! <laughs> Karamabob is bad, but not nearly as bad as Lod's one. Oh, thank goodness. Karamabob got me like, oh, I'm so sorry, you guys. You're just trying to figure out uh, your mods for Fallout New Vegas because it keeps crashing even with all the engine improvements and bug fixes and stuff. Oh no, I'm sorry to hear that, Cold Cast. The condiment. You can just spoof audio though. I guess it's true, yeah. Council good? No, still not good. It's 2183, yeah. Pick an alien and riz them? I don't know. I don't know about that. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say it's trouble. Saren thinks it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Bad Listen enough. to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. You heard Where him. Did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. The Reapers are real, you doubted me before. Don't be a fool. I tried to warn you about Saren and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. Wow. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. I've seen them. Can't you understand? You're wrong. 50,000 years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the Conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The council is Best condiment? 
That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. They will do nothing? Send me? Same old story. I can take Saren down. The commander's right. There is a way to stop Saren that doesn't require fleets or armies. No! It's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. It's the best solution. I'm ready. Quit holding us back! Yeah, let's pin it on him. <laughs> wow, Mayo and Ranch tied. Okay, I wonder what the other options were. What are we condimenting, though? That's important, too. Yeah, good question. Ketchup Def punching above its weight, weight class in this poll. I love ketchup, though. I really do. Got mad supervillain vibes. Mayo won? Oh, no. We mayo haters. Honestly, I feel like I could... I feel like I would like mayo more. I mean, not necessarily mayo as a condiment, but I love, like, egg salad and potato salad and that kind of stuff. And there's mayo in that. Also, I, I put mayo on a sandwich, but I wouldn't put ranch on a sandwich. Ranch I would really only use in like a salad, and it's not even my top salad dressing choice, you know. Uh, Dubwitted counselor. Yeah, I don't like the counselors. I'm gonna say they're holding us back. Ketchup isn't the most tasty, but it's the most versatile. That's how I feel. Yeah. It was a Turian specter who betrayed this council. Project. Hello. And it was a human who exposed First him. Choosy I have earned hair, this. Choosy fam. Sorry, I haven't been around. Just thought I'd drop in and say hi. Aww. I hope you guys have been going so well. Human, your love. husband's here. Uh, Project, thank you so much for the 39 month resub. I really Shepherd, appreciate it. Step forward. Okay, wait, I think they're accepting me as a specter. I think it's happening. See, we just needed to scare them a little bit. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Project. So good to see you, friend. I hope you've been well. I don't dip fries in mayo, but I do dip fries in ketchup. Mm -hmm. Oh, good it on is pizza? the decision of the council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the special tactics and reconnaissance branch of the Citadel. Wow! Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. But I thought the captain was a Spectre. Didn't someone tell us that he, he was a Spectre with um, Saren? So are we really the first human specter? Ranch has kind of been, not gonna lie, good for a chicken wrap or fries though. Ranch is good in a chicken wrap, that's true. I wouldn't dip fries in ranch though. Everyone calm down. Council's pretty reasonable. Like they didn't take much convincing. They just voiced some concerns. Yeah, but it's also like very political. You could tell that they favored Saren a lot. Like if it was someone else that we were accusing, they probably wouldn't uh defend them as much but i feel like they were really standing up for saren just based on like his merits and like what they knew about him may you enjoy his rise up and may you enjoy your sit down i'm a specter license to kill so no pressure right music indicates that i should feel something oh he was a candidate he wasn't an actual specter i see he was on his way to becoming one. Oh, captain was a dork not good as us that was Harkin, not the most reliable source. Okay, okay. License to Roofless. Thank you. What happened? About time! <laughs> What's my first mission? We're sending you into the Traverse after Saren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary nice. to apprehend or eliminate him. Any idea where to find him? I'm gonna we'll eliminate- any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Guys, we did it! Congratulations, Commander. 
We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need If Mayo has a million fans, then I'm one of them. If Mayo has ten fans, then I'm one of them. If Mayo has only one fan, then that is me. If Mayo has no fans, then that means I'm no longer on Earth. I'll need your help to set all this up. And Rose, thank you for the hundred bits. I appreciate it. Thank you, and Rose. Bastard didn't even thank you. I don't blame him, it's no big deal. Figures. I think he's just hurt that he wasn't the first. Any means necessary. They said it, okay? They did. Uh, I don't blame him, it's no big deal. He's got a lot on his mind. Come on. Right behind you, Shepard. Spectre bonus! Training, Spectre training talent unlocked. Let's go. All right, I think I need to level up a bit. I have 10 points, holy butts. Okay. Let's do... Only the one using pistols, boost accuracy, increases damage. Yes, absolutely. Um, resets the cooldown times on all your talents so they can be used immediately. Okay, let's do it. Uh, put another here and here. Oh, I have to unlock... Oh no, this unlocks barrier. Okay. Barrier. If Mayo has a million fans, then I'm not one of them. If Mayo has ten fans, then I'm not one of them. If Mayo has only one fan, then that is not me. If Mayo has no fans, then that means I'm still on Earth. If the world is against Mayo, then I'm against the Mayo too. Red Penguin, thank you so much for the 100 bits. I appreciate Thank you. Thank you, Red Penguin. I'm getting barrier. Adds a biotic barrier to your shield that absorbs damage but cannot block attacks that bypass shields. That sounds really good. Vanguard. Oh, look, I have a little bit in my Renegade meter. Nothing in Paragon. Biotic protection, pistol and shotgun damage. Sure. Oh, did I get one in charm by default? I think I did. Motivated buyer. Sell items to stores for 2% more. Well, 2 whole percent more credits. Uh, health accuracy, effectiveness, all attacks and powers. That sounds really good. Do that, and then I guess we'll get the intimidate. Okay. 14 points! Shield boost. Fitness. Damage reduction by 10%, hardening by 10%. Ooh, battle master. Immunity ability. Okay, you also have 14 points. Electronics for sure. Shield capacity, restore extra hull during vehicle repair. Advanced overload, can use electronic skill on average objects. Let's do it. Let's do some decryption. Okay. Cool. Let's see, what do we do now? The ambassador will provide you with the ship and crew. Meet him at the Alliance docking bay, accessible through the central elevator in the CSEC Academy. Like, I know I've been to all these places, I just can't remember how to get back to them. <laughs> I know we've been there, but I don't remember how to get back. This one? No. Oh, here. Seasick? <clears throat> Mayo Civil War has begun. I'm on Team Mayo. I'm sorry, Rip Penguin. 
Weekend releasing two versions of the same condiment song for all of his fans is <laughs> very nice of him. <laughs> Alright, C sec, but now I don't know where to go. Alliance Docking Bay? Central Elevator. In the C sec Academy. Okay, we're in the central part, I think. Docking bay. How dare you! Me and my family have been oppressed all our lives for you know, our love of many. Ever since I was a little lad walking around school the with a jar of mail. People have been teasing me and making fun. Just week. last Company week I was eating cereal <laughs> and mayonnaise. Pour the mayo first, Tamiri. Amiri! <laughs> Am I right, boys? Only for some mayo hater to tell me, how can you eat that stuff? That's disgusting. Are you brain delayed or something? Sure, yeah. Says a guy who doesn't eat mayonnaise. Not based. <laughs> Chum, thank you for the 100 bits. I appreciate Thank you, Chum. Why did he have to stop at the Amiri? <laughs> I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping <gasps> down as commanding officer of the Aww. Normandy. The ship is yours now. She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. I feel bad. Feel well, Commander. I will. What's going on? Forced retirement? It's so sad. Y'all nasty. <laughs> Recruit the Mayo Pirate next. Even Pirate had to stop. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. New ship, I know, but I feel bad for the captain. Read the part about eating cereal with Mayo and got traumatized. That's definitely what happened. Even the part that was mayonnaise too much. I want the truth. Why are you stepping down, sir? Why are you stepping down? You needed your own ship. A Spectre can't answer to anyone but the Council. And it's time for me to step down. There's more to this? Or any word on Saren? Come clean with me, Captain. You owe me that much. I was in your shoes 20 years ago, Shepard. They were considering me for the Spectres. You should have told me what went wrong. You hid this from me! What happened? I failed. I couldn't make the cut. It's not something I'm proud of. Ask me later and I'll tell you the whole story. For now, all you need to know is, I was sent on a mission with Saren, and he made sure the Council rejected me. Dang. I had my shot. It came and went. Now you have a chance to make up for my mistakes. You can count on me any word on Saren. Saren will pay. Saren's not gonna get away this time. Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The conduit. He's got us Geth scouring the traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Pharaoh system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact, and there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Pharaohs and Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before he does. What about the Reapers? Is that it? The Reapers are the real threat. I'm with the Council on this one, Shepard. I'm not sure they even exist. Wow. But if they do exist. The conduit's the key to bringing them back. Stop Saren from getting the conduit, and we stop the Reapers from Count returning. Count on me, is that it? I'm on it. I'll stop him. We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice in that recording. She has a daughter, a scientist who specializes in the Protheans. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau cluster. I'll start with Pharaohs. I'll start there. I'm going to Novaria. Uh. Oh, man. Dual <laughs> DDS is space secrets, right? Looks like he puts mayo in his hair. Stop! <laughs> Give me for a while longer. Project 14 coming tomorrow, Project. How exciting. Oh my God, I'm so happy for you. Best of luck, friend. I hope everything goes smoothly. And I'm wishing all the best for you, friend, and your family. Oh, Project, I'm so happy for you. What? <laughs> Hi, Danny. Yes, first playthrough. First playthrough. Very excited. About to step up. You can't wait. I don't know where to start. I don't know where to start. I'll start with Pharaohs. I'll start... There, I'm going to Novaria. Um, what is... 
I can't remember which one's which, though. Start with Pharos. Let's start here. The son Pharos might still be alive. It's your decision, Commander. You're a Spectre now. You don't wow. answer to us. But your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess and I get stuck cleaning it up. I'll be careful, it might be necessary. That's your job! <laughs> I feel bad being mean to these guys. Your project says he's having a kid. I know. You're not ready for a babby. <laughs> a new chat babby. I'm so excited for a new chat babby. Your project says he's naming the kid Sundi. <laughs> the Desia? I don't know what that is either. What do I wear? No, Varia, no, Varia has the scientist. Okay, okay. Uh... <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna say it might be necessary, I'll do whatever but it I will be careful. Not exactly the answer I was looking for, Shepard. Remember, you were a human long before you were a Spectre. I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. Yes, Commander. Are you okay? How are you holding up? Honestly. This isn't how I pictured my career coming to an end. Pushing papers really isn't my thing, but you're the one who can stop, Saren. I believe in you, Shepard. If that means I have to step aside, Aww. so be it. I should go. I'll be here if you need The me. other evil person on the recording? Oh, oh, the matriarch. Matriarch. Okay, um... <laughs> Wait, is it this? Is this a ship? Where is the ship? This way. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Oh, decontamination. You get away with a hotties Roddy's bunk. Survives a hundred battles and then gets taken down by backroom politics. Just watch your back, Commander. If things go bad on this mission, you're next on their chopping block. This feels wrong. I'm ready. Saren's out there somewhere, and we're gonna find him. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander. Hundred percent. Intercom's open. If you got anything you want to say to the crew, now's the time. I need to be honest with them. Now we do things my way. Let's keep this short. We can't be- we're gonna cause panic if we're honest with them. <laughs> Let's keep this short. Crew, this is Commander Shepard. We have our orders. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. Everyone is counting on us. We must not fail. Humanity's in this alone. This is the most important mission any of us have ever been on. The fate of an entire galaxy is at stake. We will stop Saren, no matter what the cost. Well said, Commander. Captain will be proud. I won't let him down now if we feel he doesn't matter anymore. Oh, God, it's so cruel. Ruthless. <laughs> so cruel. Uh, doesn't bode well for the mail eaters. Literally a giant ship. I know, but there's too many ways to go. Speech, I know. Very very short but impactful speech, right? Epic speech time. Most disimportant dismission. And you have gotten a promotion to captain and she's taking over the ship. Yeah, I guess I'm the captain now, huh? <laughs> this is a bad time to mention on anything that's going on. <laughs> and Rose! Oh no. So far, the story has been... I feel it easier for me to follow. I feel like... Games nowadays, they make their stories purposely complex. And because this is older, the story is like a bit more simple and streamlined. So I'm actually following along pretty well, but uh, we'll see. Well, I'm sure we're still early on. I won't let him down. Not if we fail. He doesn't matter anymore. Uh, I won't let him down. The captain gave up everything so I could have this chance. We can't fail. Yes, ma'am. Oh, boy.
Right, let's look at this map. Okay, there's the citadel. Whoa. What is this map? <laughs> Okay, that's somewhere we need to go, Novaria. You guys said that's where the matriarch is, right? Pharos, do we know what is on Pharos? There's another place we could go. You were also <laughs> clueless. Captain and cult leaders so accomplished. Been so rattled every, ever since Jenkins passed. <laughs> I don't know either, we're chasing someone, I think. When stories are referencing that are needlessly complex. I don't know, just a lot of them. Commander means whoever is in charge of one particular mission or project, it overrides all other ranks for only that mission. Best song ever, this one? Liara might be a good first pick. The dig site, this one? I think this is what the captain was just telling us about, right? <laughs> oh no, Riptar. Been here the whole time, not a single alien wrist. <laughs> well, honestly, so far up until this point, we've just been collecting party members, I think, you know? Uh, we learned that Saren is bad, though. He's trying to bring back the Reapers, potentially. And they wiped out humanity several years ago, uh, presumably. And so we need to stop him, and he is trying to get to a conduit to... Uh, accomplish all of this. So we're trying to stop Saren before he gets to the conduit. All right, let's go here and travel. Oh, Sparta? N no, no sauce? Athens? Macedon. So this is really more of like a yes, no question. Like the game doesn't tell me which one of these to go to is the point that I'm supposed to explore all of them. Like, is that what the game is suggesting? Spores base stage flashbacks? <clears throat> Saren? No, <laughs> Saren. Not Saran. <laughs> Saren. You can speak to the party on the ship or end backseat. Oh, speak to the party on the ship, I see. Um, wow, and Rosie! <laughs> Reporting back for duty. Timber smells self snitching. Just click and explore. Okay, okay. Yeah, it wants you to explore. Okay, I wasn't sure. Let's start with Athens, why not? There's like four different planets to explore. We're gonna start here. Oh my god, there's even more. There's so much to explore. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. Okay, five planets, actually. So I guess Athens is the galaxy, and these are all the planets. Maybe we work our way in to the middle. Oh. Distant. Pharos has seen only a cursory examination by an unmanned probe. It has a, tra a trace atmosphere of nitrogen and argon. Its surface is mainly composed of tin with deposits of carbon. Deeper craters have been partially filled by ice, suggesting there may be a significant amount of water locked up beneath its frozen surface. A large ice bright crater in the southern hemisphere makes the planet visible from the inner system, leading to the planet's name. Uh... Oh, it's cold. I guess it makes sense. Turian insignia recovered. Scans of the planet Pharos revealed an abandoned base on its moon. The recon team found nothing of interest, but much of the debris was marked with the Magna Colony insignia. Okay, I thought the exploration would be like us actually going to the planet. I didn't realize it was just we were surveying the planet. It's <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is a lot more, uh, more simple. 
Uh, Nausicaa. Traces of sodium in the atmosphere give Nausicaa its overall dark gray color, but it is otherwise a typical hydrogen helium uh, gas giant. An abundance of water vapor in the upper atmosphere account for its white clouds. Oh, I can't even survey this one. Okay. Salamis! <laughs> the geological properties of Salamis? I want to call it Salamis, though, have been scanned from orbit, but little else is known about it. Due to its thick carbon dioxide atmosphere and proximity to the energetic star Athens, the equatorial daytime temperatures have been known to turn the surface molten. 520 degrees Celsius! Good gracious! Uh, human soup! No wonder we can't go to these places. <laughs> <laughs> the okay. answer is ranch. I personally enjoy mayonnaise, but some crazy Jedi told me this is not the condiment you are looking for. Move along. <laughs> Cal, thank you so much for the 440 bits. I appreciate. Thank you so much, Cal. I like the the suspenseful pause between the condiment you are looking for. <laughs> thank you so much, Cal. You'd love to meet someone on salamis? I don't think we're meeting anyone here at 520 degrees Celsius. Banka salami. Jenkins liked salami and soup. Oh my god. The crust is composed of iron deposits of platinum group metals. Okay. What's this one? Cersei? Uh, a modestly sized hydrogen helium gas giant with traces of sulfur and chlorine. These give it its striking yellow green tint. As the development of the Proteus colonies continue, Cersei will likely be developed for helium 3 mining. Gas deposit surveyed. While scanning this gas giant, you detected a large concentration of helium 3. Yeah, checks out. Proteus. Like the Hanar homeworld, Proteus has more than 90% oceanic cover. The incredible heat thrown off from Athens raises global humidity to 100%, creates constant cloud cover, and powers colossal typhoons that rage across the surface year-round. Hot, humid, and storm-wracked, Proteus's rare combination of oxygen, nitrogen, atmosphere, and carbon-based biosphere nevertheless recommend it for colonization. The pilot program is studying the possibility of colonies below the ocean surface. See from the worst effects of the weather. Gas deposit surveyed. Proteus has a large amount of free oxygen. Colony founded 2179. Population 12,000. Capital Ithaca. Okay. I think we're done exploring here. Let's check out... Nossus? Nossos? I don't know how to pronounce these places. The dramatic boss you are looking for. <laughs> 250 Celsius, right? You like this music? It's nice, right? It's not supposed to be a pause if you read it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the TTS does weird things like that, like pronouncing, am I right? Amirit. <laughs> and it's just silly. Hi, Dark Knight. We finished Lies of Pino leveling. Yes, we did. Thank you, Dragon. Yep, the uh, the video compilation of all the boss victories is on my YouTube, so you can see it there. But yeah, we finally finished it um, last stream. Took down Nameless Puppet. Mm -hmm. All the music has been a vibe so far. The music's been really good, surprisingly. Yeah. A lot of Kelvins. All right, let's see. Oops. Arc Arcanus? Arcanus? A small hydrogen helium gas giant, Arcanus has been developed as a full-featured, if modest, stopover for ships hauling refined materials from Therum. In addition to a powerful magnetic field to dump drive charge. Amirite, am I right? Juicy wow, juicy wow, juicy wow, juicy notes. Juicy wow, juicy wow. <laughs> Timbergoats, thank you for the 100 bits. I appreciate Thank you, Timbergoats. <laughs> Uh, it's the optimal temperature for Kelvin's chili. <laughs> Close enough. Gnosis was the ancient capital of the Minoans on Crete. Oh, I do realize that a lot of these are uh, Greek names. So that's pretty cool. Um, in addition to a powerful magnetic field to dump drive charges, Ar 
Arcanist, <laughs> I'm gonna mispronounce all of these, has a largely automated infrastructure of helium-3 refining and deuterium mining on its mini water ice moons. Oops. I missed it! I didn't mean to double click! Okay, well, something was there. Zakros. Uh, a terrestrial world with a nitrogen methane atmosphere containing trace amounts of hydrocarbons. Its frigid surface is mainly composed of water, ice, and hydrocarbon slush. Most of the surface is not solid enough to support the full weight of a landed ship. If approach is necessary, use shuttles or keep the ship's mass mass effect envelope up. They said it. They said the thing. Theorem. Oh, there's a photo with this one. Therum is a distant but rich industrial world claimed by the Human Systems Alliance. Its plentiful heavy metals have fueled the recent manufacturing boom on Earth. Core samples rich with the fossils of simple silicon-based organisms indicate Therum was more habitable in the past than it is at present. Perhaps this explains the many Prothean ruins dotting the surface, most of which have been looted by mining corporations. Founded in 2167, 34,000 population. Oh god, I can land there. Whoops. I didn't mean to, but we're landing. Uh, <laughs> let's see. We want... Let's bring Tali and Rex. All right. Choosy. Wow. They said the thing. <laughs> Roll credits. I love when they say the thing. Big fan of when the Mass Effect Mass Effects. Well, look at this truck. Ta we're in a tank. Can we are in a tank. Some strange readings. Really strange. Oh like my god! I got shots. people drive. Monka steer. Looks like it's coming from an underground complex a few clicks away from the drop zone. Oh my god! Why do I have to drive and shoot? Someone else should be shooting. Oh my god! Do you think I can drive this into the lava? Do you think it'll survive? The Mako. Best vehicle ever? It has to survive, right? Oh my god, we're burning! Okay, no. Okay, no. <laughs> okay, no. You can drive in it for a little while, but not, not very long. We should probably stay out of the lava. Okay. Wow, it's bumpy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wait. Oh, oh, this way. I was like, do I have to drive in the lava? One way to find out. Eyes on the road. Listen, it's great driving. I don't know what you're talking about. Spectacular. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's not okay, choose. We're gonna die. No, we're fine. Everyone's fine. Oh, I see, like, red icons in the mini-map. That looks like it's bad. Oh god, where are these sounds? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, it's uh-oh. <gasps> uh-oh. Ah! Ah! Don't shoot me! Uh-oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, people leave. People leave. Guys, this gun does like no damage whatsoever. Maybe I can just run them over. What do you think? <laughs> okay, that works. Who's shooting? Stop shooting. I will run you over. 
Wait, that said something? I didn't- Whoa! Wait, I don't think I run these turrets over. Uh-oh. Only a fool punches a nap back in the mouth. We should sneak around and pull its tail. Okay, Rex! Okay! Sneak! I get it. I get it. How do I sneak? Who is shooting? Oh, come on. Oh my god, what? Can I fly? <laughs> Guys. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> Off roading. Okay, wait. What can I do? I gotta sneak around, but I can't. There's only one path. There's only one path! <gasps> they came back to life? Oh my god. Okay, wait, let me go take care of these guys. I'm back. Are you good? Oh my god, they just come back? They just come back to life? Okay, okay, we actually have to kill them. Okay, I got them this time. Oh my god, it's so difficult to drive this thing. <laughs> Why is it so hard? <laughs> I figured out the best strat, but it doesn't kill them. It just like knocks them down. When in doubt, flam them out. <laughs> Sneak, we don't do that here. Rex said we would be fools to drive straight in, but like Rex, what else can we do? I can't sneak around. There's so many mountains here. Can't really drive up you the need rocks. To turn back, Commander. You're going beyond the range of the operational area. What do you mean? Well, I can't even take those guys down. Okay, okay. Okay, I know I'm spinning. I think I need to go this way. Oh my god, can we just get in there? Uh-oh. Get him! God, why is this so hard to control? <laughs> Goodness. It's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> I found the button for... No, I just had the button for the bullets. Can push them into the lava. Ooh, good idea. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Never seen a robot ragdoll. Uh, but first time for everything. It's great, isn't it? Uh oh. Oh, nice. Okay, now we're pretty strong. Wow, do you see how long it took the missiles to get here? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Come on. Come on. Get him. Uh-oh. I just want to get out of this tank and shoot people. Oh, shoot. Oh, <gasps> you sneaky son of a B-word. Uh... Now what? Uh, <laughs> Come on, truck! Let's go! This way, maybe? Oh, no! Oh, we can kind of fly. Wow. 
Parked on level terrain. Oh, we can get out. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Next car probably not gonna be a six wheel tank. Uh huh. Ah! Fine. All right, Frogger. Easy. Nice. What is this, gate control? Oh, now we can drive through, I guess. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What does Rex know? He's only like 500 years old. <laughs> Gotta find the cannon button. I do need to find the cannon button. I didn't even know it could fly. All right, let's go into this one too. There's no one in here. Okay. Classic Mako controls. Ooh, what is this? Frogger? Oh god. It's fine. Ooh. It's music. Upgrade kit. Okay. There's not a lot of baddies around here. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Get him! Get him! <laughs> Why did we keep zooming in? <laughs> oh my god. Ooh, a three pistol. We're getting a lot of stuff. All right, let's see. Assault rifle. Equip that one. Mm. I want to give that to someone else, actually. All right, do we have better armor we can wear? Not really. You can't wear this. Oh, right. He's not a human. We gotta get him alien armor. Crap. Mm. I don't know. Is he good with a pistol? Let's give him that. Uh, let's give him that too. Why not? Open the gate. Cool. The yellow looks good. Frogger Queen? No way. Machine button. Machine gun buttons are two. Yes. Yes, are two. 
Uh, have not found the cannon button. Oh, heck. Who is shooting? Who? Why are you shooting this tank? Oh my god. There's something over there. Hold on. Where are they shooting at? What is you shooting at? <laughs> I don't understand the besties sometimes, you know? Oh, the first aid interference. Yeah, yeah. I need to do that still, don't I? Um... Oh, I have some other stuff, though. Damage protection, hardening, plus shields. Let's do health regen. Why not? Okay. Give Max a pistol is an abomination. Why? Everyone's good with a pistol, right? Okay, who are they shooting at? Oh, God, the turrets. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Bestie! Bestie! Wait! Wait, besties! Oh my god! What just happened? What do I do? <laughs> my besties! What did I do? I think the turrets took them down. I didn't take the turrets down. The turrets took them down. Oh no, what do I do? These turrets are so strong. I need to take them down with the tank. I don't think they're- Can I res my besties? What can I do? <laughs> I didn't let them die. <laughs> I know, I know, but I got out of the tank so I could do this, and now the turret, and then the gate, and then the turrets. <gasps> oh my god, it's recovered already? Okay, wait. I need to get in the- Is there a way I can res my besties? If I heal, will it resurrect them? Oh, please, where my tank? Okay. Ah! Get in there! Oh my god, can I not shoot? Oh my god, I'm stuck? Oh my god, so many turrets! Oh my god! <laughs> now I can't even shoot. Where- what happened to my cursor? What is going on? What do I do? I don't know- I don't even have a cursor anymore. What even happened? <laughs> what is happening? R1 is kidding- I don't even have a cursor though. No, 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 no. These people are definitely not dead forever. I just, I can't, I don't have a cursor. I don't understand. Oh my god, driving this thing is nonsense. Oh my god. I kind of want to restart this segment. Uh... Okay, this thing doesn't turn the other way, apparently. It only turns one way. Oh my god. Okay, how do I bring my besties back to life? They are dead. How- they are alive now? They're in here? Wait, how did they come back to life? This is Flom's execution. How did they come back to life? I don't understand. Okay, I need to make sure all the turrets are down. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's chaos! Where even are we? No clue. No idea. This whole mission is just chaos. I'm too scared to get out of this, um, this tank again. So we came in through that way. That's 
Or that's the direction we were in. Uh, and somehow my besties are alive. One of them needs health, though. You have to take everything. Needs more health. Wow. Okay. Whew. Power of friendship? <laughs> is it just they're on a timer when they die? Like, as long as someone, or as long as I'm alive, like, everyone will eventually res or something? Is that how it works? Okay, I know we need to go through this gate. Let's get back in the tank! Aren't you far enough away from the combat they pop up next to you? So they just come back to life by themselves. That's crazy. Chat willed them back to life. It's a miracle. Thank you, chat. <laughs> Friendship OP? When you leave combat, they wake back up. I think you got far enough away from the turrets. From the That's crazy. So death really doesn't matter then. They, they're just going to come back, right? Uh, just got abandoned them and they come back from the dead. That's actually insane. Refinery in the middle there. I don't know where I am in the map, though. I assume I just keep going this way. Oh god, these guys again. I'm gonna shoot a cannon at you. Okay. Uh oh. Ow. We got zapped. Okay, just don't drive into the lava. Do not go in the lava. Uh oh. Provide them by using Medigel. Oh, there's a ship. Um, or once you leave combat, they revive. Okay, <laughs> lend them your energy, chat. Your zombie allies. Bessie said that they cannot be killed in a way that matters. <gasps> oh, please. Man, these guys have really far range, huh? Jenkins never came back. Yeah, how come he couldn't come back, right? It doesn't make sense. I think there's one more. Oh, there's a lot more over there. Oh my gracious. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. What is that? giant thing back there what oh ow ow oh they got shields oh no what even is that thing oh my god this tank come on come on tank come on <laughs> Colossus? Uh oh. Wow, it's he. Oh, okay, no, it's fine. Okay, 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 we got him. Mm hmm. 
Whew. I was in the refinery? I couldn't tell because the word refinery was, oh, covering up where I was, I see. Consequences, never heard of them. <laughs> Jenkins need to be sacrificed for Shepard to achieve godhood, exactly. We wouldn't be, uh, we wouldn't be here without his sacrifice. Car song nine and bottles of beer on the wall. <laughs> Hi, Captain Sir Dreads, how are you doing? See the giraffe. All right. Creepy. Uh. Uh oh. Did I get you? These enemies are so small, it's kind of hard to see them. I guess we go this way. I'm scared. This looks bad. Let's check our map real quick. Okay, so we're the giant orange. I thought that was the icon for the refinery. You want to go left. I think we want to get out here. Do a quick explore. There's nothing here. Okay. Uh, instead of red dragons, these geth have me uh, metal giraffe. It's true. The giraffes are kind of cute, though. Okay, let's get back in the tank. Oh, come on. It really does not want to turn the other way. There's baddies in here. I guess I could have just ran them over. Oh, more baddies. Wow. Wait, what? Dead end? Uh. Uh. <laughs> That's a dead end? lived in world and heard they made the Mako worse in the remaster but it had a reputation already <laughs> i get that tanks aren't meant to be easy to drive but man that thing does not want to turn sometimes okay all all i see is that we have to go in the lava i don't know how else we'll get past here oh we gotta squeeze through this 
That tank is not gonna fit through here. I guess we're meant to get out and walk the rest of the way. Uh-oh! Besties? to hide, don't they? This music is poggies. Okay, we got them all. Nice! <laughs> Get Yankee troopers. Uh-oh. Got him. Oh no. Okay. I just want to see if we can get anywhere from here. Come on, Ryan. Oh, <laughs> okay, no. Hi, Pliskin. How are you doing? Good to see you. I'm crying the club to gun in into club. Yeah, we're killing everybody. Oh. 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 Okay. Lots of baddies here. Good gracious. These guys have like a lot of armor. Uh oh. The music's so intense. Mm, am I supposed to do something with this? I don't think so. Okay, we got lava again. Go this way. Uh oh, it's getting scary. <laughs> the music knows. Did Cheesebot just call you a camping noob? Oh no. With all the groin shots? I don't know. <laughs> Nifles are deadly on insanity level or insanity difficulty. They will one shot you or leave you with like no health. That's actually crazy. Yeah, we're playing on normal because chat knows that I am not a good shot and they know I have limited experience with shooting games. So <laughs> I think this is probably the right call. Uh oh. What in the floppy, froggy heck? Oh no, we have to fight the giraffe out of the tank. Uh oh. Besties, hang in there. Don't bestie, you're in the way! Bestie, you were literally in the way. Oh, is that? Oh, we gotta get this thing. Oh, no. I 
I think I'm poisoned? This is a mess! Okay. Um... Uh... I can't see where this frog thing is leaping. I think I got it. I don't know. Oh no. Oh no, this is- okay. Let's heal. Oh dear. There's another one. There's a- why- why- why did you get me? Oh my god, Bubo arrived! What? Oh my god. Wait, what? I didn't mean to do that! <laughs> Get back in there! <laughs> Resume? Good gracious. <laughs> so bad. Uh-oh. Okay, wait, maybe we should, um... Shotgun this. Oh my god, he's on me! She's already dead?! What?! How is she already dead? Oh my god, okay. Okay, people leave. People leave. Y'all need to come Someone back to life. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, we're gonna die. She's not coming back to life. How did she die so fast? What even happened? I don't even understand how she died so fast. What? Rage <laughs> quitting. Game said go to bread. Uh, suddenly chat, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Okay, I don't know how she died so fast. That was crazy. And they came so close to us, so I think I'm gonna need to use like the shotgun here or something. Oh my god. No, they're still coming after us. Okay, let's make them use... I don't know. Ugh! This is not good. Dude, this is crazy. Actually insane. Holy. Okay, can y'all stay alive, please? Oh my god, this is so crazy. even working. Wow! Tally is squishy. Oh my god. Is it possibly nap time? Uh, we have some points we can use. Hold on. Melee damage. So I haven't learned how to use throw yet. Or warp. I haven't learned how to use these things. I feel like those would probably help. And barrier? Assault training. 
They got blasted with the orb? Ooh, I'm not under level 10. Open a can of Whoopi 55. I don't know. I'm getting, they're opening a can of Whoopi 55 on me, it seems like. Uh, let's go with that one. You need some more health. Warp duration barrier. What is this? Not reduce damage to shields. Short. Um. Oh my god, immediately. Immediately she's dead. Oh god. Frogman! Dude! The frogs! I can't with the frogs! Oh, okay. I don't know. I feel like I need magic for this, and I don't know how to use the magic. What is the button for biotics? Yeah. Can we re remap buttons to the quick bar? The, the game never taught me how to use biotics, though. They barely even taught me how to shoot my gun. I'm gonna focus on the, the frogs, I guess. Oh god. How many frogs are there? Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, can we not? Is this my shield? I'm gonna die! We're gonna die! Besties, you're not doing anything! My gun's not working! Nothing's working. Okay, I gotta figure out how to use stuff. I don't know. Options. See, this is keyboard keys though. It doesn't tell me what to press on my controller. It doesn't say, it doesn't say how to use Magic. Does anyone know? Oh, uh, something is blazing. I can't remember what it is on controller. Maybe left bumper. You can hold it down to bring up context menu for abilities. Left bumper brings up the menu or the wheel for weapons. This one. I haven't found a menu for magic. Opposite shoulder button from weapons. Oh. Oh, oh. I gotta tell them to use magic? Why can't they just do it on their own? Uh. Okay, you need to do something. the frogs where are the frogs at oh my god the frogs Recharging. I don't know what some of these are. We're just gonna test them out. Oh 
Okay, I think I got all the frogs, maybe, hopefully. Besties. Magic. That was crazy. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, geez. Blocked. Is this our shield? Whose shield is this? Change them to use abilities on their own? Oh, hold on. Blo Why are you blocked? Why are you blocked, though? Dude, that, like, one-shot me. Oh, I gotta get the frogs again. Oh my god, the frogs are so annoying. You are so annoying, froggo. Oh my god. Mr. Frog. Mr. Frog! Oh, and, and she's down already. How? How? What did he. How did that even happen? Oh no. Oh no. Oh, get him. Oh no, we're gonna die. Oh, don't die. Brandy, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome in, Raiders. Welcome in, Brandy. Hello, Zay. Hello, Jenny. Welcome in, Raiders. How are you doing, Brandy? <laughs> How was your stream? What were you up to? Hello, Erase. I'm just dying. I'm getting my butt kicked in Mass Effect right now. But welcome in, guys. Hope you're having a wonderful weekend. Thank you so much for raiding, Brandy. I really appreciate that. Welcome in, guys. Why was this you when you first play this? Thank goodness. Okay, like so far the game's been a breeze up until I got to this point and I am getting destroyed now. And I'm like, what, did I miss something? It's going crazy. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I just discovered how to use uh, magic, so that was cool. But yeah, <laughs> just getting wrecked. That was you fighting in MK1. Oh no. Hi, Brandy. Hello, hello. What were you up to today? What did you do on stream? You are so lost. All right, I'm gonna just, my bestie already died. I think I need to reset this one. I think we need to reset. My bestie's already dead. Bestie, you are not doing anything. I was so close and then I got like one shot by a laser orb. Very unfortunate. <laughs> we just started today. Yep, yeah, we just, oh my God, I just looked at the time. Guys, I forgot to tell you, I have 8 AMs this entire week. <laughs> this whole week. It's one of the hardest fights from the early game. Okay. I really want to beat this fight though. Bestie's got a death wish. Mortal Kombat, very nice. Very nice. I hope we had an awesome time in Mortal Kombat. This is Legendary Edition. That's right. Tally might survive a bit longer if you command her to take cover behind a different piece of cover. Right now she's trying to share the cover with you. Oh. Commanding them's kind of tricky though. Yeah, we got the power wheel, Cal. Yeah, we have, we have found it. Uh, it's just... We're getting wrecked very quickly. Okay, one more try, but then I gotta go to bed. I, got, I gotta I have an 8 a.m. meeting tomorrow. <laughs> okay, go there. That one. Oh my God, she's already getting wrecked. They're not. They're not listening. Uh, why is that recharging though? But why? Oh my God, she's dead. She wouldn't go. I told her to go. She wouldn't go. <laughs> God. Is there no quick reset? No, just shoot an orb at me, please. 
Thank you. That is a one-shot orb, by the way. <laughs> I was so immersed. I'm so upset. 8 a.m. I know, Hydra Goonies. 8 a.m.'s all week for me. I'm so upset. I'm so upset at everything right now. Okay, she wasn't listening to me. What do I do here? Oh. Okay, you start with... You probably need shield boost. So do you. Might as well. Okay, and then you... Go there! Go over there! Go leave me alone! Leave! Someone go over there right now! Oh my god, that frog! <laughs> Darn it. Stupid frog. Stupid. Stupid stormtrooper! Oh! Not good, not good. Oh, no, not good. I cannot! Ah! Okay, we're gonna have to do this next time. We're gonna have to do this next time. I can't do it. I can't do it. Oh my god. 8 a.m. No, I know, I know. This is such a mess. <laughs> time for sleepies. I don't know how we're gonna do this. Bye. I got so close, but now, like, my besties aren't listening to me anymore. They're like, dude, we're already in bed. <laughs> Exit. We'll do this next time. Okay.